Hell yeah, 6 p.m. on the dot. What's going on, little boys and little girls? Big fat bastards, big fat bastard. That's how we all do. And welcome back to the stream. It's your wife's boyfriend, Big Fat MTG. It's so lovely to have you all with me. On your behalf, it's so lovely for you to have me with you. What a joy. Tonight we're running Jishath again. Take two of Jishath here. I made a few little changes here, and we'll talk about that in a moment. But first, we got to admire Jishath. Look at that. Gosh, I, I love this card. So for five and one Naya unit, it's got Vigilance, Trample, Haste on a 7-6 body when Jishat deals combat damage to a player. We reveal that many cards from the top of your library, uh, our library, <laughs> put any number of dinosaur cards from among them onto the battlefield under our control and the rest on the bottom of our library in a random order. Now, yesterday, I added Ember Cleave because since that's a whenever it deals combat damage ability, Double Strike has that triggering uh, twice per turn, right? Um... But, um, I don't know. I don't know. The The beginning part of that stream, and by the way, thank you guys for uh, the likes and the views on that stream, because I'm going to be real. Like, it, it felt like a grind at the beginning, because it just I was getting dysfunctional hands, and it got to the point where I was like, you know what? I'm going to take a look at this deck, and maybe I'm going to make a few, uh, few changes. And, uh, well, changes I did make. Let's start in the one mana slot here, where I was looking for um, just anything that gets me lands either into hand or on battlefield, whatever. And I saw this thing, new from Brothers War here. Nice and uncommon, too, so I don't have to invest in any rare wild cards to uh, try it out. Astro and Andrea, how we doing? Welcome to the chat. Troll call. I love it. LOL. Welcome one. Welcome all. Be you trolls. Be you normal people. Happy to have you both. Both. Now we've got Bushwhack here. Choose one. We can either search our library for a basic land card, reveal it, and put it into hand, then shuffle. And if we don't need that, I love the flexibility on this sorcery here. Target creature we control fights target creature we don't control. And that's particularly great with our um, dinosaurs here, because I'm just quickly scanning. Well, yep, because we've got things like, here it is, Ripjaw Raptor, so that whenever Ripjaw Raptor is dealt in one of those fights, we draw a card, right? We've got uh, things like, and some of us might know it if we watch dinosaurs but uh some of us might not range in raptors here whenever it's still damaged we can search our library for a basic land card put it onto battlefield tapped and then shuffle so we've got two nice little enragers there i'm not gonna lie off the top of my head i don't remember if i have another enrager oh yeah here it is trap jaw tyrant particularly good against tokens here but um when it when this guy's dealt damage oh man cookie monster here exiles target creature and opponent controls until trap jaw tyrant leaves the battlefield that's why he's particularly good against tokens right because even if they kill him they ain't never and i mean ever gonna get that token back really nice against ren and seven's tree folk token but you know <laughs> anything um now let's see um any other um changes that i made let's see blah 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 blah, blah, blah. i know i made something oh okay yeah i put in like some dorks like this right a two cost I tried to um, add a couple of um, two-cost plays here. We've got uh, that guy right there, the Loam Speaker, because he taps for one mana of any color right now, just running my mouth. I said, oh, Selvala. Well, yesterday I added Selvala. Um, at the bottom of this category here, I put in uh, the Celestis. I don't remember <laughs> entirely what I took out, to be perfectly real. Um, the Celeste is there, right, because um, it can also help us filter through cards. So, like, if both us and our opponent are kind of, you know, like, not doing the best, maybe the Celeste can help us do a little better, a little faster, right? I also had this guy. Pretty cool. Atsukun Seer, or Atsukun, Atsukun, I don't know. Um, one Forest Plains, taps for one man of any color. That's nice, but he's got a little bit of extra bonus on top of that because we can sacrifice him. Like, maybe we don't need that man of any color or some emergency. Return target dinosaur card from our graveyard to our hand. Yeah, give them give them something else to uh, worry about there. And uh, you know, if they're if they're gonna kill on so can seer with some sort of removal spell or whatever, boom, sacrifice them and uh, get something for our troubles. You know, um, let's see. In the four mana slot, I thought I did something. Oh no, I didn't. I took out Beast Whisper and then I put him back in. Okay, cool story, bro. Moving on. Um, in the five mana slot, I put in Gigantosaurus. 
I mean, we are running three colors, granted, but we, we lean a little bit towards green here. Um, there were dragons, dinosaur, when dwarves. Ooh, we'll see about that. Um, I plan on putting Magda, or one copy of that Magda Brazen Outlaw, into a dragon's deck, because that's very good. But yeah, we've got Gigantosaurus here, too. Um, even though it doesn't have Trample, I mean, we could give it Trample with um, Garrick's Uprising here. Middle middle line of text, creatures you control have Trample. Um Gore Claw somewhere here whenever it attacks. Creatures we control, power four greater, plus one, plus one counter and trample. But he's still great on defense, right? He's a 10-10 for five. Yeah, good on defense. And then up in the top level, I put in, let's see, I added Star of Extinction yesterday and then didn't really do the best job putting that into the description. But nevertheless, I did it on camera, so you at least know. Um, this one right here. I took out Wakening Sun's avatar. Um, I put in Zatapa, Primal Dawn. I actually didn't realize I, I had one, to be perfect. I was a little, uh, little uh, disappointed with myself that I didn't even realize I had the Zatalpa. But I'm also pleasantly surprised, right? For free Zatalpa, kind of, right? It's like finding like a couple bucks in your pocket, right? So Zatalpa here, flying, double strike, vigilance, trample, indestructible. Whole bunch of words there on a uh, on a, a fat cost, a, a decent body. Remember, it's only 4-8, but it does have double strike and vigilance. And and all the other ones, but yeah, I think it's cool. It, it honestly looks like a like a big flying duck. Um, but nevertheless, it's really big and it's really angry at our opponent. And hopefully, it brings us some nice plays. I don't think I did uh, anything else here. Um, yeah, I didn't even play around with the lands. Like I might want to uh, get rid of some of like these lands, but the ones that don't have forest in them, I think I might be able to take them out and maybe just put in like forests or whatever. Um, if anything, so that um, Nissa who shakes the world is a little more more potent in this deck yeah so um i don't think i did anything else here you know i don't want to be going ahead and radically change it you know and then like screw it up it was doing pretty well before yesterday um got me a little insecure about it to the point where i went ahead and uh you know played around um and i don't always do that so it might just be nice just to play around with it for the variety yeah so um here we go let's hit all the right buttons here um, Jishat's Dino Army Historic Brawl. Yes, everything's good here. Let's go. Thank you all for joining me. Shout out to my notification squad there. I appreciate having you here. Let's get right into the action. Will we get the Jishat off? Hell, better question. Will we at least have quality games where we can do stuff, interact with the game, have a good time, and feel decent even in defeat? Let's do it. And to get back to your question, Astro, because I, I didn't really give you too much of an answer, um, since I, I was I was doing the uh, the intro uh, deck list thingy there, but um, I don't know if I could get something together with not a lot of uh, rares, I'd be happy to. It'll probably take some time, because I do have some things I'd like to do. For example, um, Naya Dragons Historic Brawl featuring Rith Primal uh, Primal Liberator or whatever. Um, okay, hang on, I gotta take a look at this. Um, it's not atrocious. It's not the best. We could Forerunner of the Empire for either Ranging Raptors or Ripjaw. The The lands are all right because we do this first and then Unclaimed Territory is one mana of any color as long as we spend it on Dinosaur. Why don't we try it? If anything, because I have Shell Shock after yesterday's mulligans. Um, so, yep. We just hold this as we wait for our opponent. I, I really like the lands from uh, from Ixalan, man. Like, I, I love, like, the... Well, what is that? The, like, jungly, like, jungly, maybe, like, ancient type kind of civilization. Looks like this dude's mulliganing a little bit. He might have to uh, drop a card here. But he, um, our opponent, goes second. So, you know, they will get the first draw there. Their, uh, their commander is this. So, I mean, that's very good. <laughs> okay, this on Dinosaur. And, um... You know what? I actually think that we put in this instead of this, because if we play this, we still can't afford Forerunner, right? So right now, I think we'll drop Rhythm of the Wild since we're up against Blue, right? I mean, it's, it's possible that they're running counters. So, so we might get some value out of Rhythm of the Wild. I mean, up against Mono Blue, or most likely without knowing what they're doing, right? Um, nightclub bouncer return target non-land permanent opponent controls to owner's hand um well they didn't send rhythm of the wild back which is mildly 
interesting. Um, we can't cast Forerunner without the um, thing from that. So why don't we cast this? We'll actually give it haste so that we can tap it right away for um, Marauding Raptor, I think. Um, this one gets a plus one, plus one counter, I think would be nice, because they have something with three toughness on the field. Okay, they get Thassa. They're uh, going to be annoying and uh, send that back, bring it back in, and then constantly make our stuff more and more and more expensive. Super annoying. Um, okay, so we get a mountain there. Um, what do we do? Do we get Forerunner of the Empire and maybe get... Um, I don't really know. I mean, this is going to get annoying really fast. Remember, if I play him, they just bounce him and then do the uh, thing again. So what do I do? Um, one, two, three, four. I can't even do that. So let's just use this. Um, plus one, plus one counter, I guess. It doesn't really matter. It can't attack in, right? So we'll uh, search our library for a dinosaur card. Hmm. Um, I think shifting ceratops might be it because it can't be ca it can't be targeted by that thing. Um, and that's going to be past turn. We can give shifting ceratops a plus one plus one counter and then swing in, giving it haste by its own ability. Okay, so they'll probably send back Forerunner, I'd imagine, with Thassa there. Okay, they send that back to our hand. Shifting Ceratops can't be countered. Um, so at least we can drop that, right? Uh, it doesn't really matter. We'll go ahead and do that. Doesn't really matter. Um, we're going to tap this, give it haste, and they uh, are on a five-turn clock. Not not terrible, right? Haste. There you go. Um, you know what? We will also attack with Forerunner of the Empire, because I don't think they want to lose either of these. And they actually can't kill it by blocking with this. They have to block with this, and I know they don't want to do that. So we will swing for seven and bring them. Yep, down to 18 was most likely. Very good. So they could send Forerunner back. They could send Ornithopter back. It'll cost a whole bunch. I got Shifting Ceratops on the field right now. Okay, neither of those things are going to be able to target uh, Shifting Ceratops, even though they get nice activate, or nice, whatever, enter the battlefield out of them. Looks like we've got them thinking a little bit. This, this one doesn't really matter, because they can send Forerunner back, like, okay, let's... All right. All, all right. Um, Carnage Tyrant, pretty good since it has a uh, Trample Hexproof, right? Um, we can't play it yet, unfortunately, and getting this out will not matter because they'll just send it back. So um, we just attack. Damn. Good thing we had Foreigner of the Empire to search stuff out. You like that, fucking loser? You, you like eating Shifting Ceratops' horn time and time again? Okay, so they're going to have a bunch of stuff on the field with this thing. That's pretty good. Um, yep, they uh, swing for four, but we swing for five. And as a matter of fact, since their things are uh, tapped right now, we can get in with Lair of the Hydra, which I'm not going to mouse over. Or me that might actually enter untapped, unfortunately. Um, but still, I think... Okay, so we can drop this. That's good. That's very nice. We can't cast Carnage Tyrant now, but next turn, that looks like good. They'll pro we'll probably cast it, and then they'll resign. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So we can cast Lair of the Hydra for X equals three. Do we do that? I, I don't think I want to mess up, because if they block it, then I can't cast Lair of the Hydra. That's the thing. I can't be certain that they won't flash anything in. There you go. Oh, man. Shifting Ceratops there. 
shout out to the dude who asked me yesterday if I'm running Shifting Ceratops because he's getting his shining moment here. Oh, yes, I am running Shifting Ceratops, and I would not be caught without it. They'll have to be careful what they attack with here. Um, they're probably going to get a nice attack in. Um, yeah, pass. Um... You know what? I don't even think I should get Lair of the Hydra, because they could just bounce it once it becomes a creature, right? Okay, so they got a bunch of damage there. That's definitely good. Do they have instant sorceries in their graveyard for that thing? I don't see it. Alright. Um... Well, we're going to attack, and then we're going to play Carnage Siren, aren't we? Yep, um, okay, yep, let it, let it go through first. And now, this. Man, we got Carnage Siren and... Shifting Ceratops up against the blue guy. Now, unless he rivers rebukes and sends all our stuff to our hand, then I'll eat all my words. You know, then good good for him. We hope we don't see that, though. He's got eight mana. So if he has it, he can play it. I think that might be it. I think he won. Good game. Damn. Sucks to suck. Um, we block this and we uh, lose. Good game. Damn. Good game. Sucks, but uh, we did as best as we could. But nevertheless, damn. They swung in with nice lethal damage there. Thing is, it would be tough to enter into a stalemate because if I didn't attack with Shifting Ceratops, he kind of just does that. Um forces me to block one of the Thassas with um, the Shifting Ceratops, which is difficult because then we have to take all of the twos instead of blocking them, which is, you know, obviously we kill them. But um, yeah, we have to relegate Shifting Ceratops to blocking Thassa, and it would survive. But we would just keep taking damage until we lose, so that one kind of sucks. Um, nevertheless, good game. Um, okay, and now I think. Um, shifting, um, Shapers is good, Drover's good. Thrashing is good. Two lands is not good. Going first is... I think I have to mulligan this and maybe hope for some mana rocks. Do we take this? Cold Steel Heart goes on green. I think we could probably try this. Um, drop this one first, then this. Yeah, even, even grabbing that on the first turn, I think we'll still do this. Oh, I didn't even see. Ivy. Oh, okay. So the game's already over. Um, green. He doesn't have any activated abilities on the lands or on the creatures yet. That's a triggered ability. So, um... This so is runic armosaur there. Isn't going to be too good. Fantastic. The Ivy player conceded, as they should. As they should. He's got a shred of decency. Maybe he's regretting some of the decisions he's made in his life. Ugh, God. But nevertheless, you know, at least Ivy's kind of cute. It's uh, it's over pretty fast, irregardlessly. So, you know, as offensive as it is, it's, 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 it's fast. <laughs> On to the next one we go. Thank you all for stopping by. Appreciate my viewers live, pre-recorded, my lurkers. I know you're there, unless you're not there yet. I did just start the stream. I know it takes a little while to uh, get them eyeballs coming in here. But nevertheless, still shout out to you. Astro, in historical mode, Dino Reanimator. Ooh, Resurrect Jisheth. Oh my god, turn third or fourth turn combo. Ooh. Or if we have a Masquid Nexus, yep, yep, on the table, then the combo is... Oh, yeah, yeah, because then everything, even your support creatures, can be brought down with Jishath. Oh, oof. Um, 
I think we keep seven. Now, this is a little interesting because four of the Empire is our target here to bring down like a ranging Raptors. It will destroy this, but it's probably for a good cause um, since we would probably get a ranging Raptors, which would bring us lands in place of this. Um, ooh, they're going to be... Oh, was that you, Astro, that talked about that combo? I don't remember who it was. Sorry, but Bruvac, the uh, Grandiloquent there. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's good. We might need to, uh, blow this thing up. Um, let's see. I think we just do this for right now. I didn't want to get the two life for the, uh, damage yet. Um, keep my, uh, options open in terms of Forerunner of the Empire. Um, Okay. I think we go Forerunner, test them for counters here. I mean, honestly, if they counter it, I don't have much to do. But yeah, at least now we have a better path to abrading their thing there. Okay, it looks like they might drop their commander here. Oh, okay, so they're holding open more counters. Um, Alright, in that case, um, why don't we start with... um. Garrick's Uprising, so that we can still hold open a braid after a counter. You're such a fucking loser. Yup, yup, Bruvac plus Teresian Mindbreaker. Okay, yeah, if you're saying it like, and you, you know what it is, okay, I guess that was you. Sorry, sometimes I don't always remember exactly who said everything. This thing is good. Can't attack or block unless a player has seven or more cards in their graveyard. The problem is that that's so easy to accomplish. Um, so this tapped. Guardian Project. And we freaking hope and pray for a land there. We have 12 cards in hand. So they are in graveyard. Sorry. So they can attack and block with that thing. Let me bring that up. It's really good. No maximum hand size. Each player draws X for X, X, and tap it. And each player... Oh, wow. Okay, they uh, took out... What exactly was that? That? Okay, what do we need? Um, eh, Probably green. I think we have the most green overall. If we happen upon a Nyssa, um, then we'd have a three force on the field, which is pretty good. All right, we just really want a creature so that we can actually draw with this. We hope to goodness gracious that it resolves. We drop the land first for the biggest chance of that. Hope they, they, I mean, they have one card in hand. Please don't be a counter, right? Oh, we get the draw at a freaking Guardian Project. Love it. Yeah, oh yeah, in Brawl it'll be hard to do. Yeah, at least if they don't counter or anything like that. Yes, absolutely, sir. What exactly is that? If enchanted creature is red, tap it. It really <laughs> main board red hate. Damn, good for you. Um, nevertheless, we drop a uh, that. It um, well, we might as well call white. I think since we have like triple everything else but white. Okay, so they have us on a four turn clock now. They're a uh, they're wigging out a little bit here. We don't have any cards in hand, so this thing isn't going to make us mill unless they give us cards in hand, like, first. Or unless we get, like, a bunch off of uh, Jishath, right? If we get a bunch of creatures in off of Jishath, that'll trigger Guardian Project a bunch of times. Um, yeah, they have no cards in hand, so we are going to get Jishath down. I'm just checking how many cre I mean, I'm sorry, cards we have in Graveyard. Okay. Um, this. And we swing. that okay um we'll keep that in hand as we swing with these two and then we can drop that after if we need to it's probably better to drop it we'll see what we get here um oh my goodness we got zatalpa um well thrashing i definitely want thrashing but we're just gonna put them all in here. this is an artifact 
So we could use Thrashing Brontodon to get rid of it. We're actually going to play this right now. Um, and we will uh, end our turn. We can we can kill this with Thrashing Brontodon. That's why I wanted to see if it's a uh, artifact or not. Yeah, because that... Sorry, <laughs> I, I took it off screen as soon as I brought it up. So they're wigging out a little bit. Which is good. Each player draws X cards. X equals one. Okay. I guess they're just going to have us mill with this and then resign immediately after doing that. Okay, let's see if they got their River's Rebuke. They have six mana. I forget how much it costs. It's, it's like six or seven, right? I mean, we really don't even have to kill this with um with uh, the Thrashing Brontodon since we have Zatalpa up here. Base power, okay. I mean, I'll, I'll just kill that now. Tap Enchanted Creature doesn't untap during Controller's untap step. Okay, that's cool. Good job, dude. Nice. Um, let's take that away from them. Fuck this guy. There you go. Okay. For the draw, see what we get. Um, let's see. Um, we're going to attack with everything, which is going to give us a big Ember Cleave here. Um, so why don't we, um, drop this? It's lost all abilities, right? Oh, it has Defender. Okay, so not all abilities. They're still alive. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we put in the Celestis. Has turn. Okay. There we go. There it is, folks. Good game. Uh, may have fucked that up by using Thrashing Brontodon on their creature rather than the, uh, the enchantments on mine. But do we understand why I did that? It is adding insult to injury. Ugh. God. Oh, God. It's, sometimes it's about sticking it to them. It's sometimes it's it's just about fomenting an irrational and completely unnecessary hatred of someone for no reason other than you feel like it. And you just, and then as a result of that, you let the hate kind of curdle up inside you. You take it out on them in the form of purposefully making a suboptimal play. Just so that they know that you made a suboptimal play and you still kick their ass all over the place with the Ember Cleave on your 3 3 dinosaur token from Regisaur Alpha. This hand is buns. I mean, it's actually got great stuff in it. It's just that, like, it needs a, like, a little bit more. Because let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six lands out of the eight for Jishath, but we're top decking all the, like, things that we'll actually do. We're also up against black here, so. Yeah, you know, like stuff's gonna die. Um, this hand actually has no green. GG, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, keep six here. Yep. Um, uh, we'll get rid of Zatalba and maybe hope to find it a little later, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. So the plan right now: 
first it's thunder herd migration we do in fact have a dinosaur so we don't have to pay the one extra to cast it that is nice um we grab a mountain because that's the car that's the uh, color excuse me that we need uh, reveal a giant yes i clicked space bar why, why did it like half press that button why does it do that sometimes like i clicked the whole i clicked space bar i don't know how you can half click the space bar um, yet it seems to, like, half... It knows that I did it. Like, it changes color a little bit, but it doesn't freaking, like, all the way register. I don't get it. Maybe it's because it knows I'm trigger-happy. Honestly, maybe that's, like, a fail-safe mechanism against stupid idiots like me. In which case, I gotta say thank you. Now, um... I think we can start here with the, um... Augur of Autumn, so that we can check the top card of our library. Well, I guess we'll see if it's countered. They hit the Jawari disruption. Too bad, because I didn't play this land. Of course, that's so that we could put the put the land from the top of the library into play. Um, but nevertheless, they hit the Jawari on us. Great stuff, too. They're they're happy to get the Jawari off, especially on such a valuable thing there. So good for them. Um, we will uh, land our Lone Speaker, right? Uh, that's it. Last turn. It dorks for one man of any color. A lot of us have probably watched some of the uh, bigger content creators there doing the Dominaria United and now Brothers War standard stuff, so a lot of you probably know this guy. What's this do? Um, if a creature... Oh, another time. Oh my goodness, damn. They are stacking those Enter the Battlefield effects. Um, damn, good stuff. Okay. Um, I think that's probably Regisaur Alpha because that's going to put two um, extra creatures on the field, so that way next turn, if we attack with... Um, even two things here, we can bring down the cost of Embercleave to two and two mountains, and then maybe uh, get their Yarrick a little bit. Um, well, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Oh my god! Okay. Ornithopter of Paradise. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Um, I like the Shaper Sanctuary. Why don't we start by um, attacking with all or just with Regisaur and Loam Speaker? It doesn't really matter um, because either way, if we attack with this, we lose a mana and it also, um, you know, reduces this by one. So I think the manas stay the same in that regard. Um, so we'll just do this. We'll attack with... Um... It doesn't really matter. So um, why don't we attack with uh, all of them? Do we put Ember Cleave on that? I don't think so. I think I want to bring them down as fast as possible. So the good news is that's going to be difficult for them to bring their commander down because, um, and they can't bring that thing back from their graveyard, at least not right yet. I. Okay, that's annoying. Um, the good news is that we could probably, um, th I mean, they're going to take Regisaur Alpha, which really sucks. Oh, they took Ember Cleave, interestingly. So that brings up the question, um, oh, they, wait, that they didn't take Ember Cleave. Yeah, they can't do that. Okay, I was like, why is it pointing specifically at Ember Cleave like that? What? What? Creature or Artifact. Oh, they did both. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, very good. Um, they grow Spiral, yep. Um... Okay, so that's probably going to be, um, let's see, we can use Lanawar Lan Loam Speaker to send a land at their face and deal six damage, but it's really not too much, to be honest. Um, can they cast this for as long as the, it remains exiled? Um, but if, if they lose this, can they still cast it? That's the thing, because all my stuff, unfortunately, has freaking like three. Um, so why don't we just do this? Um, on this one, I guess. Um, we'll just put this one into play tapped. Um, is that it? Um, maybe we swing with this. Um, and then just give it our best shot. Because the thing is, Anger of the Gods destroys us.
Like, all, none of our stuff has more than three toughness. Even if we can give the plus one, plus one to Death Gorge. So it looks like that might be about it. Yeah, they get double enter the battlefield on there because they have this thing up. So that's really good for them. At this point, that's probably about it. Um... Because we basically have to, like, destroy ourselves in order to get rid of uh, their stuff. Um, the only thing we have is, like, Star of Extinction right now. Um, so we could hit Anger of the Gods and get pretty much all their stuff off the field. Which I kind of honestly think we have to do. Um, so why don't we start by um, attacking. Um, let's attack with uh, this and this. We'll take a... Uh, We'll take a non-creature, or, yep, out of their graveyard, so that way uh, Death Gorge Scavenger gets plus one, plus one. It's a 4-3 now, so they can't clean block it with a Regisaur Alpha. Of, of course, they can still do that. Yep. Um, And I think maybe we'll uh, pass the turn here. It looks to me like they're going to attack and then put Embercleave on Regisaur Alpha. See, I don't want to kill Lo Lanawar Loam Speaker because we do have a chance at drawing the 8th mana next turn. For Jishath. And they know that, so... I was thinking they might even keep Embercleave as a defensive play, honestly. Yeah, because we can make Lair of the Hydra pretty big in defense. Um, Mirari's Wake is good. Um, but we can do um, Star of Extinction and then Mirari's Wake. So I think we might do that, um, right? It's all of our mana for that. So yeah, I think we have to do that this turn. Um, target a land. Is there like any one that's the best? Um, I mean, they all tap for all, but eh, might as well that. Because it takes, a, right, their commander's going to cost two more, and we take a land from them, so that's kind of good. And I mean, the fact that it's taking them a little while to digest it is further pretty good. Um, now, what we can do, I suppose... Oh my god, we got Embercleave back? What the hell? Well, why, 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 why that? Why, why did I get my Embercleave back? I mean, that's nice, but why the hell did I get it back? Spelled that kid, killed dinosaurs on hand. Haha, ha. yeah, shout out to the guy who said it might be a fun flavor win for that yesterday. I don't remember if that was you, but either way, each opponent discards a card. That's, oh my god, wait, I have to discard both of them. Yeah, that, that actually sucks. Um, but nevertheless, I think we had to do what we did. Um, do, I think we have to do the Celestis here. Um, we can do Lair of the Hydra at two and swing it in at them. But the thing is, if they kill it, then we don't have anything else to do. Um, and yeah, it's not worth it because it's not even lethal, right? Like, I just don't know if it's worth it there. Um, if we draw a land, that would be extremely nice. They're going to get two enter the battlefield topiary stomper lands, So that's really good for them. Um, and that'll bring them up to seven so that it can attack and block. Which is nice because it's got four toughness to a uh, really hamper Jishath in swinging in at them. Now checking this, it does not have um, death touch. Okay. Um, I, I'm not even gonna do Lair of the Hydra for two because I think they probably know that. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Got one of these. I have them in for the basic land types, but I think the ones that don't have forest in them um, can go. Pro and the reason I have them in is because of Nyssa. Um, to be honest, I maybe even could have done the Celestis on that, but obviously since it costs land, yeah. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for um, the Celestis. I don't think I can do that, though, because like, I just don't know if they're going to... Um, but the thing is, they bring in their commander, right? Um... Oh, damn it. All right, whatever. That that wasn't really going to be castable. Um, it costs nine. We have eight mana on the field. Um, yeah, I, I really think they have a kill to do. A uh, kill spell to make. Um, now, the thing is... Um, uh, 
Okay. Um, We'll definitely play that. I think we go Jishath and try our best. I think it just eats a kill spell, but nevertheless, there it is. At least we get a card out of Shaper Sanctuary when they kill it, and I'm fairly confident that happens here. It looks like that's probably about it. We'll see what happens. But the thing is, I, I don't only have to cast Jishath. Um, but I also... um Okay, well, I mean, that's not the worst thing that could have happened in the universe. Because um, we can still go Celestis. Um, or, no, I can't win with them. Yeah. Layer of the Hydra, I was thinking. Um, this. Um, and do I do Ripjaw? Um... Yeah, probably Ripjaw. Um, do we want to take that action? Yeah, because we can we can drop the Elysian Caryatid. I I kind of like it. I'm dropping it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine with this. So we still need one more mana for Jishath, or we need to drop Marauding Raptor first. Um, yeah, um, do we take that action? I think not, because I don't know if I'm going to have Poopy to, uh, get rid of. Um. Are you choosing the number of lands you control? Damn, that's good stuff. Um, so we can do Marauding Raptor into this, I think. Um, do we drop Embercleave too? I don't really know about that. Um. This is when it becomes level three. Um, do we attack with Ripjaw Raptor just to kill that thing? Um, it might not be the worst thing in the world, right? Because it could, it would get us a card when we do it. Um, I kind of like it because they they have to make that block, right? We get Ember Cleave on the field now. So we're going to get a card out of that. And we can still cast um, Thrashing Brontodon. Not bad at all. Okay, they have four lands. Enters the battlefield. Jesus, they are replenishing their hand, and we are definitely stuck on one. Or, sorry, one card in hand. No, this is in the command zone. We got zero. Oof, this is, uh, this is rough. Okay, well. A cheap dinosaur would not be the worst thing in the world, because... It powers up Marauding Raptor, who could then receive Ember Cleave. Um, and em Marauding Raptor becomes plus two, plus zero every time like a dinosaur enters and it deals damage to it. I would imagine they attack with Topiary Stomper. It's got Vigilance. I'm Wow, okay. I mean, we save out on a two, two, four damage there. Whatever. Not bad. Um, Gigantosaur is not terrible because it is a great acceptor of Ember Cleave. If only it had... Wow, excuse me. If only it had trample. Um, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I could do um, Lair of the Hydra minus 2 and then minus 3 for Ember Cleave. I could do Lair of the Hydra at 5, 5, get Ember Cleave on it to 6, 6, and then swing in. And that's pretty brutal for them, I think, because they have to block at least 6 of it before they can even... They have to block that a little bit, right? Or do I get Gigantosaurus down? Um, because it's actually huge and it presents a real big problem for them.
Now, do I attack with the Brontodon also? Because the thing is, she, Topiary Stomper is probably their best thing right now to block this. So they would have to commit Topiary Stomper to this, and then they would have to... Uh, they don't even have to block that, though, to be honest. They could take it. They're at 11. They have a nice landfall ability going on. Yeah, they, they don't have to block it. So if we attacked with Thrashing Brontodon, it would have just died to Topiary Stomper. I probably would have just sacrificed it to kill one of their, like, artifacts or whatever. Popeye, how you doing, man? Good afternoon, evening. I don't know what it is for you, man, but happy to have you, dude. Welcome back, of course. It's night two of Jishath Historic Brawl, man, and we are uh, watching them create copies of Scoot Swarm, which kind of sucks, but if they can't kill Embercleave or Gigantosaurus, I will be swinging in with that Gigantosaurus with Embercleave. It will be 11-11 double strike if they can't handle it now. That's a good start towards handling it. It fights target creature we don't control. Okay, that's good. Um, We will, in fact, get the Shaper Sanctuary draw. That's pretty good. You actually get some cards in our hand. Okay, they kill Thrashing Brontodon. That's annoying. Now they kill this guy. Yeah, okay. Um, resolve all. They don't have a lot of lands left. We got one land on tapped. I think the Elvish Mystic is their only dork, right? This isn't a dork. Um, eh, no, 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 no. Return it to the battlefield at the end of the... Okay, yeah, 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 okay. Could have used... Yeah, I could have. Honestly, I didn't take a good look at the uh, triggers to see that it was being triggered. Or being a... Uh, yeah. Um, targeted, excuse me, that's what I mean. Um, do I use this now to, like, destroy this, I think, maybe? Because that way they don't get more lands onto the field, right? Because that means more Scoot Swarms. Um, so why don't we destroy this artifact here? So they only get one land, which means they get freaking eight more Scoot Swarms, which actually really sucks. Um... But it's better than them getting, like, I, I, what would that be? Eight and then 16 more? All right, Carnage Tyrant is good. Um, but I think we can probably do, let's see, this um, and Carnage Tyrant. Let's see, first we're doing this, right? Um, first this. Um, do we do Carnage Tyrant after that? Maybe so. Um, let's start by attacking and see what the freak happens. Um, yep. Because they do have to commit to that. They should be able to take care of it. But they have to commit 11 damage just to get through the first strike, and then they can start after that, after all those things die, then trying to get enough to deal 11 damage. Okay, so why don't, we, why don't we start doing some math? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, the first thing I want is that. This is all first strike damage, right? Isn't this all first strike damage? Let's see. Well, I want this to come last. Um, and this too, because I want to kill the Scoot Swarms. That's their main thing that they have going for them right now. We got to get rid of those. Um... He left one Scoot Swarm undone, and this. Okay. 
Okay, looks like he survives by one. Oh, well, he actually gains a lot of life. Holy crap. Yeah, the card advantage is pretty nuts here. Holy goodness gracious. So that's why I didn't use a layer of the Hydra there. I think I feel like it would might just die um, to a chunk. I mean, Jesus Christ, look at all that. I think Carnage Tyrant is probably the best to get on the field here to pressure harder. Now, they have all the stuff in the world, so I would not be surprised to see a board wipe here. Okay, well, what's coming after that? They have five, six mana. They get the land. I have to freaking click on the uh, thing. Okay, well, you know, thank the good heavens, at least we got rid of the freaking Scoot Swarm, huh? Lotus Cobra, okay. Yeah, they're going to get a... Oh my goodness, man. Jesus. Okay, they exile our graveyard? Oh, Bajuka Bog. Cool, man. Nice. Oh my god. How many cards are in this dude's hand? Do you have 46 cards in library? I have 69 cards in library. Oh my god. Wow, 17 cards in hand. Unlimited hand size, though. I see that he's got that thing there, so... Damn, that's good stuff. He's going to destroy my artifacts and enchantments. That might be my best shot, um, unfortunately. There, there's nothing. You have to destroy Embercleave. Okay, so it's just Embercleave and that. Okay, yeah, that's that's unfortunate. That might be about it. Right, that was our best shot. Because now, without first strike to Yarrick, um, Death Touch, that might be about it. We, we just can't match the... Um, we can't match the card advantage at this point. So that's probably about it. And it was a good game. Um, Yeah, that's unfortunate. But I'm happy with Ember Cleave. I mean, at least it gave us our fighting chance against the dude. So good game. Oh, my God. Yeah, forget it. And then they, they get extra cards on top of that. God. I mean, you're not attacking, dude. Um, But yeah, that's uh, that's it. Good game. Um, oh, I missed it. It matters. It was a good game. Um, I You know what? Fuck it. Let's just see what we get here. I'm just curious. What do we get on this one? Yep. <laughs> okay. I don't know what could have happened. Maybe Zatapa, but like... They're gaining so much life. Zatapa is the flying double strike, tramp, blah, 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 you know. But it's a 4-8, so it would fly overhead and deal 8 damage a turn. It, it could block Yarrick and live because, right, indestructible. Um... But yeah, I, ah, man, damn, good game. I actually took out Wakening Sun's Avatar, but at this point, I don't think that even works because when it, that one enters, you destroy all non-dinosaur creatures as long as you cast it, right? But then they, they, they have so many lands. When their creatures die, they're going to draw cards and gain life. Like, So they recover super well from that. Damn, good game. Couldn't, couldn't uh, match the value there. Gosh, darn. Good stuff. Uh, if only he didn't destroy the Ember Cleave. But, I mean, he had, like, a high percentage of his whole library in his hand. I mean, he had answers for everything at that point. Damn. Um... And it, it, since we go second, it kind of sucks a little more that both of our um, lands will enter tapped. Um, gosh darn, yeah, that sucks too. I will take this, keep six. We do get Command Tower in this one, which is pretty nice. I think I might drop Death Gorge Scavenger in this one. Velomachus Lorehold, oh dear. Well, that probably tells us that they have some sort of burn spell, right? Since that was a uh, mountain and it took a little <laughs> moment there. Oh, 
No, I like that one. A lot of the cards, I, I, I don't like that that like template for the card, but the, that art is really pretty, and it has a nice contrast against the template. So it's, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Um, kind of like the oracle here. Ooh, yeah, very nice. Okay, we can put that on uh, red, I think. Okay. Search your library for up to three planes. Put them in hand. Shuffle. Wow. Goodness gracious. Cool. Another cool art, too. Very cool, man. Um, what does this do? Um, tap one mana chosen color. Red. Cool. Yep. Okay. Um, well, that's pretty nice to get off the top of the library. So we'll start with that. Oh, wow. And that. So we can do um, Nissa. You know what? I think we will untap a land, a, a not forest land. Um, this one seems to be the best here, I think. Do we have enough red to cover for that? Um, yeah, I think that's okay. Just just in case it dies, right? Um, so we'll get in five damage. Not terrible. We bring them from 25 to 20. That's good. They can drop their commander here. I don't know how much they do after it. When it attacks, look at the top seven cards of library. You can cast instant or sorcery. Oh, well, okay. Then it does do good stuff. What exactly does that do? If it's a permanent card. Okay, so we revealed a, a sorcery. Yeah, okay, great stuff. Um, This on Dinosaur. Damn, the Oracle here is uh is doing it. Damn. So six lands on the field. Seven, eight. I think both of them. Just to make the statement. So hopefully they don't exile everything with farewell. What? Then sacrifices the rest. I think that's it. Good game. Oh, I like that one. Wow. Okay, good game. Damn, we got really lucky with that Oracle of Moldiah. How about that one? Setting up the whole freaking game. I mean, I mean the, the draws off the top of the library were pretty lucky there since it was so many lands. Damn, we deserve this rare. That was a really nice one. Dedicate that to the Oracle. Maestro's Ascendance Tree. Maestro. Once during each of your turns, cast a blah 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 blah. Okay. I didn't even read it. That's how good I am. I got bored like two lines in. Wow. So happy they used that shock on our face. How do you think they were kicking themselves that they didn't use that two damage on the Oracle of Moldiah? Because that is all the toughness it has. Oh, poor guy. Wow. Okay. Brave Sir Fibblethip. Oh, cute. Very cool. Alright, I like that. Um, I don't like the hand, though. Because this, we would have to not kick it, which is fine, but it's like our fourth mana. We, we go second, and we only have this. That's a mulligan. I could probably take this. Since we have the Ornithopter for the second green for this guy, keep seven. We have Bushwhack, which can have Topiary fighting something. Um, it's probably going to be this one first. Next turn, Ornithopter. Although, Ornithopter might just drop dead, um, but we don't have, like, another green, so... Um, I mean, we could get it with this if we need to, so why don't we try Ornithopter? Hopefully it lives. Right, let me bring Bush Bushwhack up. I, I kind of like the flexibility of that on a, uh, you know, one-costing sorcery there. 
Could definitely make a lot of hands keepable that otherwise might not be. Yeah, so the Ornithopter dies, but at least we have that backup play, not gonna lie. I mean, we even have this, so we could go um, drop this and uh, Mind Stone past turn, right? That's, that's not a terrible turn. And hold open Bushwhack to maybe uh, take care of a creature like... Um, I don't know, whatever they might put out. Maybe they have that thing that's like a wizard, you know, and it's like whenever they cast an incinerator source, they feel like everything they control gets like plus one, plus zero, or something really good. Um, we're going to play a land that enters untapped, so that way we can get around possible uh, counters here. We're going to get um, a green, I guess? Go to the number of lands... You have, you have begun, wait, 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 deals damage equal to the number of turns you have begun. Oh, okay. Well, there it is. All right. Nevertheless, we'll go and grab our forest. I mean, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good one there because, you know, we're, we're getting close to seven lands that the Topiary Stomper needs to attack our block. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, create a 1-1 one, one illusion with flying. Well, that's going to be Chump Blocker City. Um, we can't kill it, unfortunately. We can try something sneaky, though. We can try... Yep, and that holds open a green. Perfect. There you go. Oh, the trap card. Although, not gonna lie, the Haughty Jin, it would maybe be nice to uh, kill that thing. But nevertheless, we can drop this, and this, and this. No attacks. But... We can untap enough mana to uh, cast Jishath, even if they kill the uh, Goblin and Archomancer there. They have two cards in hand. Thousand Years Storm. That definitely sucks for us, so we need something real good with Jishath here. They most likely won't attack, yeah, because that prevents a lot of damage, much more than it deals right now. Lair of the Hydra. Yeah, I mean, we are going to drop that, right? Um, but that's Jishath. Um, we'll swing with only Jishath. I don't see a point in attacking with anything else right now. Hopefully we get something really nice. Maybe even, like, Zatapa, because that would be indestructible. Um, this is good, but we don't have the land to actually use it. So we really hope that they don't destroy that thing, because that destroys their enchantment and their creature. Should we untap our lands. They're running blue-red, so they probably will have to burn it. Hopefully they can't do that. And then the, if, even if they kill Zatapa, they still have to deal with Jishath again. Let me bring up Zatapa. What, ain't she a beaut? Okay, so here they go, starting to uh, burn our stuff down. And Kinjali Sunwing. Okay, very good. But since they're not starting to burn down Zatapa, that tells me that maybe they can't. Well, hopefully. Cross our fingers that they can't. They only have their Planeswalker in hand. They're looking at Zatapa like they wish they could do something. There it is, boys and girls. No mercy. None. No mercy at all.
How fortunate that we uh, Jishath into Zakama. Wow, that was probably our best hope there to actually deal with that enchantment. And very fortunately, they were very low on, you know, anything pretty much. Wow, they wouldn't have been able to copy that. That's four damage. Even it doubled, it wouldn't kill Zatapa. Good game. Yep, definitely good game to them. They even let us do it. Thank you. Brave Sir Thibble, Sir Thibble Thib. Salute. Tip my fedora, man. Very good. Good game. Damn. Oh, damn. They killed Jishat. They got their Thousand Year Storm, but goodness gracious, the timing was just good enough for us to eke out that victory. Wow. Wow, man. Oh, Zatalpa. Wow. Wow, man. Yes. Oh. Hell, everything lined up. Even killing that 1-5 thing with the fight spell when we brought down Regisaur Alpha and its token. Ugh. Okay. Wow, we're up against that person with that name. Um, hmm. We only have Otepic Huntmaster to do any ramping. We do have all our colors, but it's not too good. Um, that only brings Trapjaw Tyrant down to four with no real damage to profit off of it. They're up, they're, we're playing elves here, but they're running black, so they've got kill spells. I think we might need to mulligan that, because if they kill um, that Otepic Huntmaster, then we're like locked out of our whole hand. Um, Come on, man. Do I need to mulligan down to five? Do I take this and hope? I can get rid of a tolly, and then our whole hand costs like three. So if I can get, well, except for this, but if I can get one land, which I'm not guaranteed. The problem is I mulligan down to five next. That sucks. We're going to hope and pray, folks. If we don't, fuck it. It's an unranked format, okay? I, I picked it because it's not like the hand is expensive. So we'll see how that goes. So far, not very good. So top is a great card. Maybe now's not the time. If we get the land, that's Cultivate. Oh, ho, ho, thank God. Um, do we need double green? It doesn't really matter. We're playing Cultivate. Um, we'll get, um, I guess, a, a, a red and a white. And then, I mean, we're, we're just going to drop the Chromatic Lantern, of course, as well. So, um, I want that. I want that mountain. I like it. Doesn't matter which one we bring in. We can't cast anything. Wow, thank the good heavens. Okay, so a little bit of a uh, get out of jail on that one. Not going to lie. Whenever another elf or berserker. Cool. You control it dies. You draw a card and you lose a life. Damn, that's going to be great. Um, great card advantage for them. Um, whenever another non-human, like all their elves, enters battlefield, you can pay X. If you do put X plus one plus one counters on this thing. Holy shit. That's really good. That's really good. Um, I think we go Beast Whisper. Because if that thing can live, we might start drawing into stuff. We wouldn't have Zatalpa next turn either way, because we would have five land, six, and then next turn it would be seven. We need eight, so. There's my reasoning. Let's Chromatic Lantern, Death Gorge Scavenger, get the card, hope for the best. Um, is it? Because this thing's really good. Um, I don't know if we can if we can block it with Death Gorge and this, because uh, we might be able to, though. They don't have too many lands. We might be able to get this on the block there. Um, but then again, we could also get down to the top one. That's miserable for them. Um, so is that what we do? Is it Death Gorge Scavenger hold open a braid, or is it um, Chromatic Lantern into this? Let's start with um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's start with this and see if we draw the land. E Do we take that? Um, well, it doesn't really matter. I'll just take it. Um, why don't we... Um, do we pass the turn here? Um, damn it. 
if I draw the land, that's let's gambit on drawing the land. That's the seventh thing right there. If we can draw number eight next turn, I'll, I'll then I'll debate Jishath versus Atalpa. Probably Jishath. And then hope that we bring a lot of things down. Oh, that sucks. Do I kill that thing? I don't think I do. Um, they It looks like they probably have some sort of trick to do. I'll do that, though. Okay, they wanted the card. Very good, very good. Um, that's probably Oracle and then Hope for Lands, huh? Oh, no. And it's Mirari's Wake, too, that which is super duper good. Um, maybe we could just kill that thing next turn, um, because they might attack as though they can um, draw cards with it. So if we can gang block that, that might be really nice. We're also holding open a braid, so we can do Death Gorge Scavenger on that 4-4 plus a braid and get it with up to a 6 toughness. So hopefully it doesn't get that. They'll get a card out of Shaper Sanctuary and then another card with this thing. So, I mean, it'll be profitable for them. Oracle of Multi, and they can only give that thing one counter here. So we can still kill it. They did not do that, interestingly. They dropped another land. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to block this, I think. Just because it's getting kind of big. I'm not sure if I do that or this. I kind of like doing that to this. Let's see what they do before I cast my Abreed. Yep, they get their card, and that's super good. But we still have the Oracle of Muldaya. Heroic Intervention. Great stuff. Damn. Okay. Okay, we get a land. Can we get another? Yes, please. Wow. Wow. Wah, wah, wee, wah. Uh, you know what? Even this one, since it's a 2-3. Okay, we'll reveal five cards off the top. We hope for something just to populate the field with blockers. Wow. Yep, both of those. They better have a white. And they might, they're running black. White better not be Meat Hook Massacre. Oh, well, they ain't wiping. They also can't even break that break nine nine with that one. Hey, that's an eight eight. That ain't a nine nine, buddy. Oh boy. Um. Well, we'll uh, do this. How much do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine. If we do Mirari's Wake, we have nine mana, right? So we have four doubled into eight. Um, um, do we do that? We could also just do this and break even. And now I think we might be able to start doing this. Or, you know what? Shit, I shouldn't have done that. Cancel. Um, destroy this first. Just so that they don't draw all the cards. Um, this. On this, because that's got three toughness. Or, yo, shit, I should have done this right, because whenever they die. Um, okay, then I'll just do this. Um, choose attackers. Um, do we do everything? Hold on. 14, um, 16, um, 18, 
do we do that? Because let's see, if we do all, and then they block, like, say, this one, whatever, and then that's still 9, um, 11, 13. Yeah, I think we win. Okay, well, that was nice of him to let me do that. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I should kill the 8-8 eight, eight there or if I should get, like, everything else. Because the thing is, I wanted to get the Shaper Sanctuary. I, maybe I, I thought that too. I, I didn't think of, you know, I have so much power. If I just get rid of the 8-8, eight, eight, they're untapped. It doesn't really matter if they have all their cards in their hand, right? Because they have uh, nothing to do with it. Or no mana to cast them with, sorry, um, is what I meant to say there. So that's probably what I should have done is just blown up the 8-8 eight, eight, and then just obviously swung in with everything overwhelming power there. Whatever. Different means to a same end. Mine just was slightly stupider. Okay. Um. Well, we have Thunderherd Migration into Cultivate, which isn't terrible. Right, drop this first. This will tap for colorless mana since it's not tapping for a dinosaur. Um, that's fine. We have a Tali to reveal for Thunderherd Migration so that we don't have to pay extra. Um, so, dinosaur. We'll get... Um, I guess um, it doesn't really matter since we're going to cast Cultivate. So why don't we just start with the green? Um, and then we'll grab off of this um, probably a uh, white and a red. All right, very nice. Big ramp, big ramp. Good stuff. Yep, good stuff, good stuff. Um, okay, yep, this, white, red. I want that white, and I want that red. Uh, doesn't matter, so, yep, that one. Oh, yep. Okay, now. Mm. Maybe Augur of Autumn first to see if we get a land off of the top. Since this does dork for mana, but we don't have a dinosaur in the graveyard so that if they target it with their red, which they can produce with these two things, and like we can just pay off of it. Rusty Richardson, what's up, man? I need 12 rares to complete my counters. Green deck. Oh, cool, man. Nice. I think you mentioned the other day that you saw someone doing that. You liked it, huh? Going for your own Vorinclex thing. Very cool, man. Uh, do we start with... I think we do start with this one. Good luck on you, man. I, I hope you really enjoy the hell out of that when you put it together. Sounds like fun. 12 rares. Now, is that historic brawl? Or is that going to be like, you know, explorer, historic? I'm assuming it's not standard. Because I think you're going boring, Clex, right? Holy crap. Dracu, Seth? Well, that's good freaking game. That'll eventually, by the way, plug to my shit. That'll eventually be in my dragon's decks. Hell yeah, Dracuseth. Oh, gosh. It's going to deal four damage to us, three damage to Augur of Autumn. Yeah, there ain't no coming back from that one. Wow. I always wondered why your old deck list didn't have Zatalpa. Well... Welcome to the stream, first of all. Thank you for stopping by, Jaquan Jones. Ne yeah, um, to, I'm going to be real with you, man. Um, I forgot that I had it. Um, to be perfectly real with you, I uh, today I was making changes to this deck list. And um, I typed dinosaur like into the thing, right? And just to see what the hell I had. And I was like, oh, shoot. I got one of those. Yeah, so... Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah. Now I'm running Zatalpa. There she is. Let's go. And Rusty Richardson, historic brawl. Let's go. Yeah. Good for you. All right. Yeah, that's that's pretty good, too, because that's a 100-card uh, format. So, damn. 
that makes you kind of relatively closer to completing it, right? 12 rares out of 100 cards versus out of 60. Good stuff. But thank you for also, Jaquan, thank you for watching my old deck list, man. Hell yeah. Thank you for your viewership. I appreciate that shit. Um, now, let's see. Ugh. I mean, we do have a lot of green, which is nice for this. But, like, this is a slow as hell hand, and we go second. Free mall. Okay, this isn't terrible. The problem is that we don't even have freaking one green. Ah, oh, boo. All right. Now, this has... The thing is, this gives us a scry. We do have a turn to delay with this. We have Topiary Stomper to get us towards Regisaur. Do I keep this? It's not great. We can't. I'm going to try it. Because I don't want a mulligan down to five. Let's get rid of Heroic Intervention and uh, Thoughts and Priors, ladies and gentlemen. Thoughts and Priors. Let's go with this one first. We'll probably send away anything that isn't a land. Um, now, do they have an activated ability on their land that they're going to be using there? No. So, yeah, we definitely send that away. Now, hardened scales. If one or more plus one plus one counters would be put on a creature control, that many plus one are uh, put on it instead. Rusty, I assume that you're definitely going to at least give that some consideration. Good stuff. Um, yeah, Gala Greeters can give itself a plus one plus one counter, so that's probably going to die right now. I have that card hardened. Yeah, you do. Yeah, that's a. <laughs> yeah, that is good in that archetype. You bet your freaking ass, boy. Yep. Um, now, what do I do? You know what? I think I might have to do commune with dinosaurs first, using this to like fix that mana kind of, and then decide what I drop with this. Just in, just depending on like the land situation that we see here. Um, yeah, like since we only have the uh, the green or the white here. Yeah, we'll uh we'll go ahead and drop this one on green. So next turn with this land, we can actually tap all of our lands using this to fix either one of them to green, and we can drop Topiary Stomper. Okay, that sucks. We'll get the second green here, I think. Yep, just that, and, uh, yep, your turn, sir. That sucks with Questing Beast, because Vigilance and Death Touch, like, oof. Oh, wow, but they didn't do anything else. Um, is that Silvala? Because Silvala will dork for three mana, which could get Jisheth on the field, which could force them to block it. I kind of like that. How about Jisheth and Kinjali Sunwing? Why don't we start with the Sunwing, just in case if they like want to take a reactionary stab at it. Or actually, they can't, because we hold priority. Never mind, so. So I kind of like Jisheth, and then when they kill it with the uh, Questing Beast, yeah, that sucks. But then the next turn, we can actually go Regisaur Alpha into Galta for a total of seven mana. Mostly financed by... Uh, Selvala here, who... Let me bring that up. That's It's pretty wild what this thing does, man. We'll also get a card out of Jisheth when it enters the field, assuming they don't play anything huge. And they did that. They killed their own uh, Questing Beast, which is, you know... At least it's, it's at least it's a way, right? We get Regisaur Alpha down. It's going to reduce Galta by a total of 7. Watch its cost go down. It's actually affordable. And since Regisaur Alpha gives all of our other dinosaurs haste... Not a bad little interaction between those two, huh? So even if we don't get the 8th mana for Jisheth here, we've got something. We do get the 8th mana for Jisheth, but... I'm going to be real with you. Jisheth just dies to this because this has 6 toughness, and we know... Or, power, sorry. We know they're going to make that block. They'll probably take that. We can double block that dinosaur, which we will, because look at what it does. 
And yes, that will definitely be in my uh, Historic Brawl Dinosaur decks, but I'm going to be real. Like, right now, I'm kind of looking to put more rares and mythics into my um, Joda deck. Um, cause I'm just having a blast with that freaking Joda deck, man. Um, this has trample... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Is that actually going to be Embercleaf on Galta? It's 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 actually going to be freaking Embercleaf on Galta. Look at how cute they think they are with that. Oh, no. It's a 10-10. Go ahead. Block Galta. Oh, good job. I mean, I shouldn't talk shit. We got really lucky to get Embercleaf there. Poor guy. Let's see if he concedes first. Wow, good good for him. He couldn't stand to see it. Oh, dude. Embercleave? On Galta. 1313 double strike. That would smash through this and deal them three damage, bring them down to seven. This brings them down to four, and then it deals 13 more. Oh, the dream. Embercleave on Galta. Oh. Oh, thank God that wasn't a shit decision to put it in. I felt like the theory was good, but you never know how it's going to pan out on the battlefield. You know, the best laid plans, blah, blah, blah. But damn, I I'm kind of all right with it. I mean, it even gave us our shot against that dude who uh, wound up beating us with his Yarrick deck. But it was our only shot, gosh darn it, you know? Tezzeret, Master of the Bridge. Doesn't that give, like, two types of spells affinity, or is it just artifacts? Oh, I can't see it. My my text box is actually blocking it. Okay, so, um... Yeah, that's gonna be a no from me, dog. Unfortunately. I mean, the whole thing costs three, so if we get one land, that's good. The problem is, like, we don't even have a source of green here, so we have to get a green land, which is just further decreasing the odds of that being functional at all. Um... This actually isn't terrible since we have two things here that could dork for the red to bring this down and uh, Augur of Autumn could flip a red off the top of the library. We keep that. Um, okay, what was that? Plus one, plus zero with an equip of one. Okay, that's cool. What are you like, gonna do storm artifact? Oh, it's affinity for artifacts, right? Creature and planeswalker spells you have have affinity for artifacts. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, okay. Um... You know what? Let's pay two life just to keep our options slightly more open. Llanowar Elves first. Next turn, I think... Shaper Sanctuary, then Ornithopter of Paradise? We're getting fortunate right now that they're not, like, killing our stuff with that black mana. They only have one blue now. Wait, does that dork for mana? It doesn't. Um, it'll get them a land into the hand. That's pretty nice. They might want to keep it on the field, though, because of the affinity thing. Um, but yeah, we're definitely going to, uh, drop this, I think. Um, we'll drop that on, I guess, um, I mean, do we have enough green? But yeah, we have enough white, though. So let's just do green. We'll go all green here. Um, Shaper Sanctuary. And we hold open the two mana to get around Spell Pierce for now, and now we go Ornithopter Paradise. Yeah, like I thought. They didn't even use that for uh, the land. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Um, Let's start with this one. Now, we did tap out, so we might eat a Jawari Disruption here. But I, I, it's not like I could play that and help that, you know. So we get one. Oh, the dream we get two. And it even the even better part, it just took us through a mana clump instead of drawing those two for the next two turns, right? Oh. Ooh. Good stuff. Not to mention green, 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 green. Hell, green. Gigantosaurus. Now, all their stuff is going to have affinity, and they're probably going to drop that Planeswalker. What is it minus to do? Return to our artifact card from graveyard to hand. Okay, that's good. X damage to each opponent where X is... Oh, that's that... That, like, claw animation. I think that actually is a really cool animation. All right, so let's start with this. Um, okay, now we'll drop this one. Damn, how cool is freaking that? Not gonna lie. Like, that's really cool. Um, do we do, um, maybe Gigantosaurus to, like, actually put the herd on, right? I think that might be a good idea. Ooh. 
anything else. I don't want to put too much into a wipe, though. I don't think any of those really help us too much. I mean, arguably this does, but we actually have eight lands for Jisheth here. I think that might be just um, swing with probably just this. I assume that hits in. Yeah. Okay, pass turn. That's just going to put a land card from among the top five cards into their hand. Rest on bottom, library, random order. Okay, so I mean, they'll cast their commander most likely. that They have five lands. Wait, none of these dork for mana though, right? Okay, this draws them a card when it enters and when it leaves. That's cool. They have three lands though, so I kind of feel safe from board wipe. Gosh, that oracle is freaking killing them. Oh, they're going to block my Lanoir? Oh, okay, yeah, it's probably better to chump the huge thing. All right, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, maybe Zatapa would be nice just to get us around, like, wipes or something. But, yeah, let's see what we get. Um, I mean, okay, I'll play them. I really don't mind if either of those die, to be perfectly honest, in a wipe. It's fine. It doesn't even really matter what we get here, so let's just click that. Jesus Christ, man. How about Oracle of Muldai earning its keep the last couple games? Okay, that's all of their land for Tezzeret. So they're going to deal us a bunch of damage and then probably concede, unless that they can do something wild and wacky with their artifacts here. Okay, they bring this back from the graveyard. It has protection from multicolored. That's good. But, I mean, we could just, like, swing really hard at them. They did gain a bunch of life there. That's good. Um, I think that's probably going to end it right there. We're just going to sacrifice it to destroy their artifact creature. That's the end of the game. Yep. Wow. Damn. That, yo, oh man, if you get lucky with that uh, Oracle of Muldaya there, that, that extra land. And I will have the um, Wayward Sword Tooth in this deck too eventually. It's only a rare, really nice. Um, the Wayward Swordtooth is that 5-5 dinosaur for 2 in a forest. It can't attack or block unless you have the City's Blessing, right? Which is 10 or more permanents under your control. Um, but it does give you an extra land that you can play each... Or you can play an extra land each turn. Um, okay, that does stuff. I might even take out, like, Runic Armasaur for it. Because, um, I mean, like, I've been playing this deck, like, for, you know quite a few like streams and I never really had runic armasaur do too much for me. Um I feel like wayward sword tooth would probably help me out more often than that because I do have several things like um oracle of muldaya um and the auger of autumn that let me like look at the top card and take lands and play them off the top. So I, the wayward sword tooth giving me an extra land goes really nice with those types of things. Um, I mean, we've got a lot of great cards in here, but, uh, yeah, we need a... We don't even have the double green for Selvala. If Selvala on her own only dorks for one mana, because she requires one to do that and then just taps for two. Um, that's going to be a... This is going to be a yes from me! Dog. Um, okay, what do we do here? Um... We might not even play Lanowar Elf first. Um, the reason is we... Um, I mean, we do have a turn two payoff. I kind of want to get Beast... You know what? Fuck it. I will do it. I, what I was thinking was... Um, get Beast Whisperer down and then Topiary Stomper. But, but that's a little greedy, right? But I think we can understand why I thought that. Nevertheless, yeah, I, I think we'll just get the Topiary Stomper down. Does it really matter? We have white. Um, yeah, so why don't we just do this guy? We'll get red. 
Hopefully we draw a land that enters untapped, because then we could cast Mirari's Week next turn, which is just absolutely nutsos. Look, oh man, this card is just so good. Now, okay, I don't actually think that we're going to resolve the Mirari's Wake, so I think we'll try um, Beast Whisperer here. Oh, that's actually a pretty good uh, counter. I don't know if I'm going to... Uh, I don't even know if I should attack. It's only one damage, and it, if that does like meet something that they flash in, then I wouldn't be able to cast Mirari's Wake next turn if they happen to tap out here. Oh, wow, they uh, they pass turn again. Okay, um, well. Um, I mean, do we attack and then, like, bring in Embercleave on Beast Whisper? I'm actually okay with that. Because if they want to counter Embercleave, that's fine. Let's see if they, um, if we can go to blockers and then damage or if they flash something in. They actually do flash something in, so they'll try to kill Llanowar Elves. I guess that's... Oh, this can't be blocked, right? Yeah, okay, but it can block. All right, so they block. Okay. Now, how are we blocking? Um, You know, we're going to do Ember Cleave on uh, Llanowar. Beast Whisper can live. Boom. There you go. Big, strong land war elves. Putting on the hurt. There you go. You want to sit there and be cute passing every turn with your flash bullshit? You're annoying. How about that? Um, let's start by attacking with just this. And um, let's, let's bait in any, any flash they might have to do here. They might have something. We're going to attempt uh, this guy or this guy. How about Trapjaw? I think it might be Trapjaw because um, the thing is, I, I I don't know if it's um, Paranoia. Okay, but first of all, it gets us that uh, Beast Whisper activation. Second of all, I'm more than happy to have that countered if it means that Mirari's Wake. But uh, yeah, thank you. Okay, yeah, I'd much rather resolve Mirari's Wake. Because Mirari's Wake feeds right into this, it feeds right into this, and then, oh my god, we can cast, like, double the, uh, you know, things of that. Um, which is, <laughs> yeah, good. Um. Um, so once again, we'll attack with, you know what, we'll attack with everything this time. Because I really want to resolve Mirari's Wake, otherwise I would just put down um, the um, Ember Cleave on this. Alright, so we lose Beast Whisper. That's annoying, but nevertheless, I would like to resolve Marari's Wake. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Gosh, I love this card. So very much. Alright, let me uh, actually get out of that one. Um... Yeah, they're just waiting for Jishath. Um, to which I say, I you might be waiting a little while. Um, let's uh, let's start with this. It'll add an extra forest. We can use that in one more land to move Embercleave over to Topiary Stomper. I think we get. Do we get Command Tower or do we get Gigantosaurus? Um, because Command Tower means more lands, right? Um, Gigantosaurus means more creatures. Um. I kind of like the command tower, not going to lie. Um, yeah, kind of like that. Um, let's let's go Jisheth, see how that does. We still have the mana to move Embercleave over to a Topiary. Uh, or Jisheth. I kind of like uh, bringing it over to Topiary, though, because um, eggs in a basket, you know, they obviously want to bounce Jisheth or something. So if they want to bounce, this is a command. This is, yeah, this is commander. Historic Brawl, yes, sir, commander. Absolutely. Yep, here, let me uh, hover over the lands here. Yeah, um, well, I guess that doesn't mean anything. We both, we bite, we might both have big decks, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Commander. Um. There you go. There you go. Gosh, ugh. Feels nice to handle a blue player. And, and they usually handle me. Okay, we're not talking shit, but, yeah, it's, it's nice to actually get one in return. 
<sighs> wow. Good game. And of course, welcome to the channel, Aiden. I don't, you, I'm don't. i sure you're a return viewer, I hope. But either way, you know, uh, thank you for your viewership or thank you for, uh, thank you for uh, coming to the channel for the first time. Happy to have you, man. Wow, talked so hard that I'm all out of water there. Okay. Let's go. Disaster Mind up against Major Bums. Okay, let's go. Definitely a mull there. Way too slow with no interaction. Or ramp. Oh dear. Um, yeah, it's another ramp. Now, fortunately, we go second, so we will get the first draw. Huh. I, I think I can take this. Um, isn't this the one with, like, the hamster? So let's see. This land first. Um, then this, and we can hold open a braid. Then this finally enters untapped. All right, not, not terrible in terms of the land, right? All of our colors. It, it casts everything in our hand. That's good, right? We go second, so nope, recommended. Hell yeah, man. Welcome to the channel. Let's go. I love it. Very cool. Also, thank you for saying that. Um, I like this playmat that it's got. I, I like this like dragon's horde themed playmat here with all these like jewels. Look at the dragon over there sleeping on his treasure. It's too bad he has all that treasure and like no, nothing to spend it on. Like, they can't just walk into stores. Oh, they played Bushwhack. Cool, I just added that today. Um, so this, nothing else to do. Um, then this, hold open a braid pass. Ooh, okay, what's going on here? Green and white. Um, we could probably put that on green since we now have Thrashing Brontodon in hand. Kodama of the West Tree. That is good. Um, let me just hover over it really quick. Yeah, modified creatures have trample whenever modified, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's good. And plus, if they're going to be modifying stuff, we better kill it while it has the three uh, toughness that this can actually deal with. Um, so that. And uh, is it Domri? I think it's Domri. Okay. That's good. We ramped a little that turn. So next turn, we drop our fifth mana here. That's pretty good. Um, doesn't really... I, I, yeah, it does matter. I probably need more uh, green. Um, I think instead of marauding into Death Gorge, we go Death Gorge first. Because I want to remove this from their graveyard and gain the two life. Since it can't attack, there's no reason to give it the plus one, plus one this turn. Let's uh, Let's start with this. Yes, tap that. Um, or well, tap it. Whatever. Um, get this. We'll grab the Kodama out of their thing. Two life, since that actually matters. The plus one, plus one doesn't. Marauding Raptor. Hopefully, I don't wipe field. That'd be pretty nice. Thank you. Please don't. No burn down house. Pretty please. What's this land? Put plus one, plus one counter and target creature, and only if you've cast an instant or sorcery this turn. Okay, well, hopefully it's not a... Uh, they don't have, like, a lot of wipes. I'm sure that means they do, but, you yeah, know, here we go. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to start drawing some lands because um, Marauding Raptor, which, okay, now it's dead, um, or, well, gain control of it, gains haste, blah, 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 blah. Um, I kind of want it back, so I'll let that happen. They're they're not gonna kill Domri. Hopefully, we actually keep it. Yeah. Okay, that sucks. Um, I mean, we still keep our Death Gorge Scavenger, so we'll like deal some damage. We got this to be able to um ramp a little bit, I suppose. Um, we we did lose the uh the Marauding Raptor, which reduces the cost of creatures, and that sucks. Um, but nevertheless, we get this. Um, yes, please. There it is. All right, we attack with this, and now we can remove non-creatures from their graveyard. Does it matter which one? 
I don't know. Maybe they can flash stuff back. We'll just take that just in case. You never know what if they're going to run the Dread Horde Arcanist or something because they are going to run a bunch of like instants and sorceries, right? So maybe they have that so that they can recast them from Grave. We will break evil's bones. Unless it's bones. Bigger is always, always better. Okay. That sucks. Um, good news is at least we drew Selvala, so it'll it'll tap for three, um, or actually um four, um mana, only after a Death Gorge Scavenger play. Um, and the Death Gorge Scavenger play is to have it attack, power it up to a four three. Um, we'll just get rid of this. Now it's 4-3. It trades with that thing. We have to do this before that gets huge. I'm sure they make that block. That sucks, but at least we get the trade. Um, so they have to spend the turn making another one, I guess. They actually have to make a creature and then sacrifice it. Or Oh, at the beginning of your upkeep? or at the And at the beginning of your upkeep, if you don't control a creature. Okay, that sucks. All right. Well, nice. I know how to deal with that now. Well, not really, but I, I don't think I've ever played this one before. It's from Baldur's Gate? Cool. Okay, I don't think I ever got that. Cool. All right, so that's uh, damn, that that's gonna be uh difficult. Um, Zatalpa might be our best bet in dealing with that because that's gonna be a lot bigger than Jisheth by the time that we can use it. Let's see. Silval is gonna dork for a plus two mana in total. That's gonna be seven mana since we have five across the uh, bottom line there. This will do two for seven. So we need that land. Oh, wow, they didn't fight that thing against Selvala. What are they playing? Maybe Anger of the Gods? No, that's a green? Oh, dear. Yeah, okay. Yep. This is uh, this is getting a little out of hand now. So now they get a nice swing in. Um, we lose out on all those uh, manas from Selvala, so... Yeah, this is probably about it. They might not even attack so that we don't get a clean swing in on them. Um, I guess it doesn't even matter because we can't kill either of these. Um, yeah, this sucks. Um, we're going to attack at... Um, I guess we have to do Domri, actually, because if we do this, then they just fight us again with Domri. At least if we bring Domri down to one, he, they can't minus two it. Um, we'll do this. Um, at the end of their turn. If I did it on my turn, I would have, like, one, you know, like, one land to do stuff with. Might as well do a bad bluff here with one whole entire card in hand and all our man open. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, that's 11 damage on the field. And as a matter of fact, they're about to put three counters on, uh, on their, uh, thing here. So that's, that's pretty much it. Wow, this guy's slow, so a uh, good game. Well, there's uh, there, there's no point, right? Because put three plus one counters on up to one target creature with trample or haste, which Goldspan Dragon does. So yeah, yep, good game. Losing Selvala was definitely the death blow game. Um, there. GG. Damn. Kick the shit out of us, boys and girls. Oh, damn. It's okay. It's okay. The Lord giveth, the Lord taketh away. We uh. We, we did pretty well in a couple of games before that, so happy to give back to the community. Sun Sue. Okay. Mm, oh, damn. Damn. Damn, if only this was something closer to affordable. Because we go second, so no. And then Domri would enter and be totally unguarded and surely they'll have creatures with that. Oh, forget it. They're going to have things like uh, that Beanstalk Giant, Shifting Ceratops, Ronus the Indomitable, cheap creatures with 5 power. Um, this actually isn't terrible. The thing is that we don't have green, so it is terrible. <laughs> um, yes. Okay, fine. Yes, yes. Um, this, get rid of it. Hope and pray, thoughts and prayers, blah, blah, blah. Let's go. Fang of Shigeki. Okay, we'll drop the thing that enters tap no matter what. Um, Now, next turn. Is it this or is it this? I think it might be this so that the turn three we can go this into this. I don't think it 
matters, though. Maybe either way, um, no matter which one, we just play two on uh, turn three. So, whatever. This is definitely going into a bunch of my decks, too. That is wild, dude. Whenever you cast a creature spell with power five or greater, counter up, put a plus one, plus one counter on it, and untap it. It dorks for two mana in any combination of colors. Oops, I pressed spacebar. Sorry, I got really excited thinking about that card. Um, my bad. Um, let's see. Drop this on white. We do um, white, and it doesn't matter which one, so whatever for this. Um, heaven, hell yeah, hi back at you. So, nice to have you back again. Oh, let's, Emote City, let's go. Thank you. I, I love the enthusiasm. Thank you so much for stopping by. Always a pleasure. Um, do I have enough green? Um, I, I only have one red, so maybe I get that. Um, just, just in case we need to, uh, drop this guy here. Um, which I'd, I'd rather not but it looks like i have to um they're gonna do that um unfortunately we have to take that it looks like we'll they'll only give um how's the matches been we've had some pretty good ones and uh some all right ones but you know what it's actually overall i would say it's definitely an improvement over yesterday which started out a bit rough and definitely had some nice now we need to cast that star of extension so overall it's been pretty good it's worth watching this one um i would say overall um compared to yesterday's um do i drop anything else knowing that i'm probably going to do this I don't think so. It sucks, though, because Old Gnawbone's going to really take us for a ride here. Let me bring up Old Gnawbone. What a fantastic card, man. That thing is so freaking good. Gosh. And expensive, too. Gosh, I hope to, to the high holy heavens. Any deck tunes are still the same. Oh, we definitely got some tunes. As a matter of fact, let's see. Right here, I added the Celestis, which was in Jota, but was not in here until uh, today when I edited it. Let's see. Um, Atzok and Seer here because he can dork for mana and then like if they want to destroy him or whatever, maybe he can get a block and then we can sacrifice him to kind of cancel out that attack. Um, then there's a couple of... Uh, there's Zatapa. Right, that big fat dinosaur that looks like a duck. It's like the uh, the main focus of uh, today's thumbnail. Um, I think that's uh, the Star of Extinction. Target a land, and uh, may maybe that one, <laughs> I guess. Now they have all the treasures in the world, so they will recover for this. But they have from this, excuse me. But they have a uh, two cards in hand. Now let me think. What other two? I, I think I did like four things in total. I forget exactly what they were though. But I think I just told you three of them. Most of them were on the thumbnail. I think. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I. I and I'm uh, not gonna lie. Um. The fact that I've been having some success today, um, like like it's actually a normal day of playing, it just feels really nice. So I, I hope I did something right. Could just be random chance, but you know. Um, blah, 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 blah. Um, Jisheth, swing in. Yeah, we got that mountain. That was a nice clutch pickup right there. Nice that it entered untapped. Ooh, you'll love to see it. Come on, come on, baby. Um, eh, whatever. We'll, we'll drop him. Every single one of them. We gotta populate the field before they do. What? What? Okay, fine. They gained a lot of life. You know what? At least we're dinosaurs and we can take fat chunks out of them at a time. That might buy them a turn or two, though, which is, of course, great for them. Um... Okay, not gonna lie. This is getting uh, pretty nuts. Have you thought of putting Thran, Temporal Gateway? Is that from Dominaria? I have a sm I have a feeling about what that does. It like just like has some sort of activated ability that just straight puts a creature into play. I don't remember the cost exactly, but I, I think I remember what you're talking about. Because I used to play in War of the Spark Standard before I took a break from this game for like two or three years, whatever the heck it was. Um, let, do I, Do we have any like fat dinos in here? Um, not really, um, to be honest. This is pretty bad, because they get a nice block on Jisheth here. We might have to do the Celestis here and just see what's up.
Oh god, we would have actually well, we would not have actually jishathed into that. Um okay, so we're going to drop this. We're going to go gore claw so that we reduce the casting cost of this by 2. No attacks past turn. Um I think that's I don't know, maybe I should have um done the thrashing brontodon but i'm just focused on zatapa which honestly maybe isn't good because i do tend to tunnel vision um the dino animations are the best oh i didn't even answer you aiden sorry um i, I if i if i have the that card i will but i believe that's mythic so it'll be a while and i will be Putting it in most likely at, into something, even just to have it for like the uh, you know the variety and cycle it in and out using it sometimes. Yes, definitely. Um, and if I have that, that'll start sooner. But if I don't, okay. First of all, thank the freaking good heavens that we can actually play this stuff, and it allows you to add any historic permanent to play. Oh, that's cool because I actually just started playing Joda, so that's pretty cool because that's like legend tribal, right? Um, hell yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start with this. Um, and actually, let's tap. Um, that's tapping all the lands, right? Yes, okay. So the first thing we do is destroy target artifact or enchantment. That is this. Um, is, is there anything that we really need to do here? Yeah, we need to kill that. Right, because this puts in tokens. Um, at the beginning of your end step, create a token. Yeah, fuck that. No, thank you. Um, now, how many more do we have? We only had that one, which honestly kind of sucks. Um, so why don't we uh, go... Um, mm, I don't think I should attack with Jishath. Um, oh, it's a rare? It's not mythic? Oh, shit. All right, I mean, that still puts it into a list, but if it's not a... Uh, mythic then that makes that list or that line that it's in the rare wild card line definitely moves faster than the mythic rare one so that's good now this thing is freaking annoying but i mean thank the good heavens at least we have freaking zakama here um i'm honestly debating do i do i put in zatalpa or do i do more zakama stuff here because this is going to put in a whole... Actually, I should probably hit Resolve All here. Because this is going to put in a whole bunch of stuff now. Now, does Hornet Queen give them Death Touch? No, the tokens themselves have Death Touch. Jesus Christ, okay. Christ almighty, man. I can't tell if I play Zatalpa or not. Is this a Shia? Oh my god. Okay, well we probably need to use the Talpa to blow up creatures just to uh, weaken that. Alright. Wow. Okay. Holy shit. Um, alright. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so 9. So now we actually get 3 Zakama things per turn. Okay, that's good. Um, I think that we can get, um, what? Um, let's take a look. Um... I would say Gala Greeters before it gets too big, because it's pretty nice that it gets them uh, counters and stuff. So we'll do this. Gala Greeters. This adds mana. Well, okay, fine. Sorry. Ashaya means they all add mana. Sorry. Um, we should probably kill stuff that has the most power, since we don't have that much life. Um, Zakama deals three damage to any creature. Um, so probably like this, right? And it has Vigilance, too. Does anything else, like, have Vigilance here? Um, this. Deal the three damage to maybe this again. Um, or they're arguably maybe their commander, because it could get a plus one, plus one counter. And then it would have four toughness, and it would require two Zakama activations. No, that's a great thought. Thank you, Aiden, because um, you, you, it, those things don't often occur to me. I don't, I, you know, I don't like sift through them all the time. Um, so thank you. Yeah, that's great. Um, that's probably no attacks. The thing is that we take a fat hit from a Shia. We, we can chump it. Like with the runic Armasaur is definitely the way to go with that one. Does it have trample? Okay, it doesn't have trample. That's super good. All right, they got Cemetery Prowler. We're still going to use Zakama to, uh, like, kill their stuff. 
They have a lot of life, but I, f I feel like their life is irrelevant right now. They're only attacking with the um with those things, which is honestly still a lot. They could probably just swing wide and win, to be perfectly honest. Does does any of this stuff have... It all has Death Touch, right? Yeah, okay, then I won't use my Reacher here. Um, Yeah, why don't we do that? Because we can discard Atsoken Seer. Um, oh, wow. Um... Yeah, let's discard that. Um, do we keep that? I think so. Um, okay, if I do one, two, three, four, five, then I still have ten mana. But right now, because of Marari's Wake doubling, kind of. But right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's actually break even. So I definitely do Marari's Wake here. And we have to pay for it with these four. First, so that because it only uh, doubles the um, mana coming out of lands. Well, double. I mean, actually, it, it adds it. Yeah, I know. Um, okay, so Marari's Wake, right? And then, but we need. Um, which ones do we need most? We need the reds most. So actually, let's do a uh, this for colorless. Um, yes, I freaking know. Okay. Um, this, this, and anything else. Okay, fine. Now the rest of them are just red, so it doesn't really matter. Whatever. Marari's Wake. Oh, I accidentally added a, a, a white there. Um, shit, not gonna lie, I kind of fucked up there. Okay, um, that's annoying. Um, so, three damage, the target creature. Um, we'll start with, like, this. Okay, um... Anything else? Um, anything else nice to get rid of? Maybe this? Because um, they don't have any more... Um, three. These are 3-4, unfortunately. Um, I can't really get any attacks here. That might be just about it, to be honest. Because I think they can probably just swing wide and win. It's going to be ugly. I hope they've been doing their math while I've been sitting here taking a little while. Frog he Oh boy, that has haste, so that's pretty annoying. If they don't all attack, they're kind of missing out. Um, because, like, we, we do have Marari's Wake now, so since we have, um... Let's see, with this one... We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That is 18, 19, 20. So we actually have six activations with this. Um, so I think we should probably start. Um, yeah, let's see. So three damage to... Um, I guess we'll start with a commander. Um, three damage to, um, who? Does it matter? Do I do, like, this one now? Um, I, I think so. We definitely want to get rid of that one, because if we're going to do two, uh, most of their things now are either one power, or, um, they require two activations of Zakama, so we might as well take six um, power off the field with that one. Um, I think Frog Hemoth is probably a good one to hit on this one. Yeah, and Frog Hemoth also gets plus one, plus one counters, because when it removes cards from our graveyard, um, it gets a plus one, plus one counter for each creature card it removed. Um, that's... I, I think that's probably about it. Um... Right? I don't think we attack because whatever we do pretty much just gets blocked by a Shia, and we really need to, uh... If you do... Okay, so we either way we gain the life. I don't think I want to draw that card. Um... Okay, it's great that they got a forest there, and they don't get, like, any weird hasty creature, because if they got, like... Oh, wow, they're just swinging in. Um, choose blockers. Okay. Um... 
Well, Runic Armasaur is going to do this one. Topiary. Um, here. Jishath, probably. Here. There, because that kills it. This kills that. Um, is everything good here except for these? Because I don't want to block those. There's four of those. There's no way I'm blocking them where I could just gain the life back. Okay, and I assume they resign now. We get to take something out with uh, Trapjaw Tyrant, too. Yep. There you go, boys. Holy God. Oh, sorry, Aiden. I didn't read your stuff. I'm sorry. I was so focused. I actually didn't want to be a big, bumbling fucking idiot like I often am and ruin that one. Hmm. Life is really low, so maybe we need life if we don't sacrifice Jisheth. Yeah, the only reason I didn't do it is because, thank the good heavens, this monster did not have trample. So I knew that I could um, take a bunch of stuff off of their field, t take this instead of... Um, gaining the life although maybe i could have gained one life so i mean we did cut it close that is fucking four life to yeah holy shit thank god yeah and andrew z i think i remember earlier you mentioned that i uh i uh missed a play so i'm kind of happy to make that one up to you not gonna lie because i was a little annoyed with that play that i missed earlier myself especially since it was just out of freaking laziness so um yeah good game i'm really happy to get that one i swear man as the, as the time investment goes on i don't have to tell you guys it, it just man that time investment goes on and it just damn you you want it more don't you <laughs> hurts more when you don't get it but god damn we did and it feels good still your math adds up lol yeah th thank god i actually sat there and wasn't lazy yeah Woo! that could go into a video because damn if if zakama there didn't do fucking everything dude we just had jisheth sitting around like it was just a decoration that looked nice <laughs> damn man all right um free mulligan there um, oh, let me think. Um, because the thing is, we have commune with dinosaurs here to, like, grab a source of red. Um, we, ha we have this to reduce the cost of this. If we could get to this, that could get us Jisheth. This is interesting. Do I keep this? I go first, so I miss out on a draw. I think I'm actually going to play Shaper Sanctuary first so that we um, have a more one more chance of getting a red. I actually think I want to keep this. I don't know if it's the best idea, okay? I realize that I'm going first and keeping a two-land hand. But, like, w we see this, is, this hand is low to the ground, and it has this, which we could get to, which does put us right into this. If we have four lands on the field. So we pray that Commune brings us a source of red here. Well, if you ever... Oh, shit, damn it. I, I always mention that I... I and, well, I always forget to mention, sorry. That, yeah, I, I love viewer games. Absolutely, man. Um, Let me just bring this down on red and then... um. Right here, and that goes out to everyone. If anyone's interested, I always forget to say that um, I love playing viewer games, definitely. Um, I have a bunch of Explorer decks. I have Historic Brawl. You can uh, let me know if you want to play any specific thing. Otherwise, um, I'll play this if you want to play Historic Brawl, or I'll just choose whatever the hell for uh, ex Explorer. Um, I guess this, we can do Historic too, whatever. I'll just play my Historic deck. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely, if you want to add Disaster Mine, number 34354, three, four, right there. Um, I will accept your request, and I'll uh, we'll get into the game as soon as we can do it. And then I'll probably uh, end the stream after that, because I've been doing it for about two hours now. Um, feel good about that. We'll probably be ending at about two hours, 30 minutes, whatever. This guy is still going, right? It's, it's not waiting for me, right? Yeah, we're still waiting for him. Shit. Man, what, what are you doing? Explore. He must have uh, some real conundrum in hand. Damn. That uh that took a moment, didn't it? Um. Well, so we'll start with this, I think, right? Yeah, we'll start with this. See what we got. All right. What kind of deck you plan on using? Well, I have um I have dragons um decks i have like a jun deck with like um zyator the incinerator i have a uh, like a gruel green and oh wow not bad okay i mean at least it's a land we need the land um i have uh like dinosaurs um that is going to be this guy 
Um, and that'll actually reduce the casting cost of Mirari's Wake to two, a forest and a plains. But, like, if you want, you could, I mean, this might take a moment, especially, I mean, given that this guy's freaking roping for everything. If you want to quickly check my playlist, like, th that'll it'll just give you the titles. I have, like, a Miram Sentinel Worm Historic Brawl. I have this Historic Brawl. I have um, Five Color Joda, also Historic Brawl. I only have three of those for this format, but I have a bunch of... Uh, I assume you'd want to play um, Historic Brawl. I don't know. I assume you did click on that and then challenge me. Either way, it's all good. Um, I think we go Lair of the Hydra. Uh, I think we go Mirari's Wake and hope and pray that they please don't destroy Target Artifact Enchantment. Please. No attack. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, create a food or treasure. Honestly, I probably could have attacked. I don't think they want to block with that. All right. Thoughts and prayers. Ashaya. That will block Jishath. Although the thing is, Jishath is actually going to get plus one, plus one from this. So it'll actually have seven toughness. They'll have to double block it. Whoa, I don't know about that one, buddy. Ooh, I I hope that you have some sort of real nice uh, combat trick with that. And they might, if they hit the giant growth, okay, then like, fine. All right, if they, if, if they do that, then, you know, GGWP, man. Um, I think we can, let's see, we have like 10 mana just with these guys. So why don't we do uh, this and this? And now we'll do Jisha so that we can draw a card off of it. Oh, yeah. You you know it's coming. And then if Jisha breaks down fat dinosaurs, we'll get further uh, triggers off of that. Oh, God, I love Mirari's Wake. Boys and girls. Kings and queens. Mirari's Wake. Yeah. God, and we have the seven toughness to their six power. Oh, that's good. Block it. That's okay. At least you use a Shia. We might even get a dinosaur on the field. To be honest, I have 19 dinosaurs in this deck. Okay, they actually do hit the Tamiyo safekeeping. Nevertheless, Jishat still lives. Um, no, no, no. Um, actually, um, or okay, we didn't get anything. Um, yep, and turn. All right. Um. Z man um number eight nine seven zero four. Right? Z M A N number B Friend request. Okay, can I can I make a suggestion is don't put the friend request successfully sent in red. How about like green, right? Like right. Okay, so they're going to get big Scoot Swarm here, which definitely sucks. Oh, shit. They're actually going to get fat Scoot Swarm here. Because um, they're going to get two and then four of them. Oh, shit. That's actually good. That's okay here. Resolve all. Okay, so they're, they're actually doing really nice. Yeah. Um, another resolve all. They're actually doing really good here. That might be it. Yep, exactly. Got it. Thanks. Yep, yep. I got you, man. I got you. And um, you could just send the request whenever, because even though I'm in the game now, I'll just uh, I'll find it there. I'm probably going to be conceding soon. If I don't get something real good to do against them, like they they win this one. Holy God. Yep. I mean, basically, I can get anger of the gods here. I mean, I'll even take star of extinction or. Yeah, but it's basically that, or, or the... Holy shit. Okay. Alright, buddy! Um... Okay, I was like, damn, it didn't even register. And I mean, good on them. Holy crap. Did you see all those lands that they got in there? Holy crap. Let me just... Jesus Christ, what the hell? Like, more than that? What the fuck just happened? Oh my goodness. 
Oh, whenever a land enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one token. Oh, that's an infinite combo. Right? Because whenever a land enters the battlefield, but everything is a land, so scoot swarms are land, so that just feeds into itself. I don't think there's an end to that combo. Yeah, I think that the only thing I can do is, like, marvel in it. The The best thing I can do there is let it, let it time them out in an unranked format. So, yeah. Good game. Holy crap, they did it. They got their combo off, although, to be honest, it, is that a non-bow? Because, like... That's an unranked format, and it doesn't even win them the game. Like, unless they have something that's going to, like, deal us damage somehow in mono green when creatures enter the battlefield, or, like, power something. They can't even power something up because they're never going to move to the combat phase. All right, um, why don't you send me the uh, the uh, challenge there? Because I don't know um, exactly what uh, format you are interested, sir, in uh, playing. But if anyone else wants to uh, play me in a viewer game, I'll definitely keep the stream up until we... um. Until, um, you know, whoever wants to uh, play me has done that. But, uh, yes, sir. Um, or maybe, you know what, I'll just freaking send you a, uh, a brawl one. Let me see. Um, to you, yes, okay. Challenge match. Don't I have to, like, select it? No, I don't have to select it there. Um, deck type. Uh, friendly brawl. Um, and, okay, shutting down YouTube. Cool. All right, yep, I'm sending you a... Uh, I'll use Jishath's Dino Army. Um, there you go. All right, let's go. And I always forget to say it, so let me try to get myself in a habit. Alas, I am a creature of habit, and if so, anyone would like to play me in a viewer game, just let me know, and I'm happy to do it. I love the variety of playing, you guys. It's a lot of fun for me. I want to thank you all for stopping by us. We probably wind down tonight's festivities. If you if you had a good time, if you want to support the channel, hit me. Oh, yep, play. Hit me with that like. Let me know. Let let me know I'm doing a good job. It helps support the channel because it gets the video out to more people. It helps this filth, this gutter, trash get out to more people. It makes me happy. So thank you so much for your viewership, your patronage. Um, as I take a look at this, damn, he can't multitask with his phone. He got he got it. He did it. Um. Hmm. Huh. Thrashing Brontodon isn't enough here. The land situation's kind of nice. I think I have to mulligan that. Fine. Fine. Um, we'll keep this. We'll get rid of, um, with no white for this guy. Probably just get rid of that. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. That is Lanawar Elf into not really a payoff for Lanawar Elf, but that's kind of fine. So in that case, um, the lands are awkward. Maybe I should have dropped one of these first and then played Lanawar Elf turn two. Oh, shit. Domri Anarcha Bolas Dinosaurs. Cool, man. Oh, with the stained glass style. Good taste. Good taste, sir. Um... We'll do this one, um, and you know what? I am attacking. Yeah. Yeah! Tying that shit back up. Let's go. With the sleeves, too. Let's go. Those uh, Ravnica, whatever it's called. Guilds of Ravnica. Freaking set there. I like it. Cool, man. The Domri. Is that the Chaos Bringer? Avatar? Well, well, let's see. I, I think that is. Nothing like a bit of now and then. Oh, yes, Top four card shit, man. All right, we are. Uh, he's, he's doing a good job. All right. Um, all I can do here. Let's see. I can do two things. I can do this. Um, I can do shifting, or I can do this. I kind of like shifting. I mean, hell, I could even uh. To be perfectly honest. No, I'm not finished with you. Not it takes because Domri dorks for mana. And um when when they use that plus one um ability, that mana on a creature spell, it gains riot, which means haste or a plus one plus one counter. So I not gonna lie. 
think that's an okay move, since unfortunately I couldn't give Shifting Ceratops haste there. Okay, and this isn't 3-3 three, three yet, which is actually okay. And with 1-2 mana, he might get that. He might be able to play a 2-cast dinosaur. Gold Span Dragon. That's a pretty good dragon to put in this deck. Not gonna lie. Um... Okay, I'm going to probably annoy this poor dude. Um, let's see. We're going to do this. Oh. We got a... Oh, I was wondering if we'd see Tamiyo's safekeeper. And I will attack. Yeah. We are winning. Let's go. So, I mean, of course he has a dork that he could play in the form of Domri, but that is a net of minus two mana, so he will not get his gold span dragon, which is definitely good. Okay, he gets the Lanoir Elf. That's good. But he ain't casting gold span dragon, and it doesn't look like he dropped the land there. Also, that. Okay, not gonna lie, that's really good. So unless I draw an untapped land, um, and oh, wow, I do. But it's not actually green, so... You know what? I think we drop that, and we drop this. Because that Goldspan Dragon's gonna enter tapped. Um, you know what? Fuck that. Fuck that. I got a better idea. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll just do two because we only need that, right? Yep. It's it's only because the poor guy is stuck on three lands, so we have to press the only uh the only uh advantage that we have, right? Because now that's gonna cost five, so he ain't casting that next turn. So if he didn't draw a land, and you know, poor guy is getting fucked on his lands, but fortunately he did drop that. That's good. Um, this is whenever it deals damage to the player, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Yeah, that's a good that's a good card. Um, okay. Um, damn. Do I do this one? Or do I do this? I could also do this and this. I kind of like those two, to be honest. Yes. Damn, Lair of the Hydra putting in work this game. How about that? Aiden says, damn, another Planeswalker. Yeah, he, he's got him, man, but that's actually his commander. Oh, uh, sorry. I mean, you, yeah, so never mind. <laughs> wow, that card is strong for four mana. Yeah, right? Five, five. Can't be blocked by more than one creature when it deals combat damage to the player. So if you can give that thing trampled, then that's actually going to be pretty freaking all right, yeah? Now, we don't have... Wait, we do have an artifact for him to kill. Shit. Because he's just going to kill this, and that the whole point of having this out is that I can draw a land and do Jisheth. And we don't get Jisheth, but that's not terrible. That's not terrible at all. I'm keeping Ornithopter of Paradise. Well, I guess, first of all, it's got zero power. But I am keeping it up to uh, keep Nyssa alive because she has six loyalty, so she can take one of their attacks here. Uh, ooh, that's annoying. Yep, he gets that. Very good. Yep. You know what sucks is we actually don't have um, any forests on the field now for Nyssa to actually benefit us. That actually kind of sucks. He might have this. And he, and, he, and he was mana screwed for just about the whole time, too. So, oh, shit. Damn. All right. Damn. At least he doesn't get a card out of Ripjaw Raptor for that one. 
because, um, yeah, zero power. But, oh, Jesus, okay, and if you control six or more lands, yeah, that's, uh, that's looking like it's about it. GG, let's, uh, let's see if we can do anything here. Um, wow. Um. thing is, shifting Ceratops doesn't really do anything at this point. So I think that's about it. Michael Damaraki, hey buddy, back at you. How you doing? Yep, Embercleave. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, it happens. No, you're absolutely right. LOL, Embercleave is fucking absolutely right. That's exactly what happened. Yep, good game. Damn. In with a bang, my dude. Damn. Good shit. Damn. Good game. Bravo, man. Damn. And then and then he didn't even start using this to make those 5-5 five, five red dragons. Damn. Kicked our freaking ass. And he battled through adversity to do it. Because I was doing a pretty good job keeping him down with the, when he was mana screwed. Good game, sir. Damn. Woo. Oh, that was a good one, man. Very nice. Bravo to you. And I'm going to give it a moment. I'm going to... Okay, I see he, that he has left here. I don't have anyone else asking me for more. So I want to thank you all for stopping by tonight. Very much appreciate playing you. Had a great time in that game, man. Yeah, oh, you kicked my freaking ass all over the place, Andrew. Good stuff. Do you maybe play with viewers? Yeah, Michael, absolutely. You can play we can play around. Yep, okay, then I will uh, I will stop my spiel, Michael. Um the goodbye thing. If you want, um here you go, man. Um uh There it is. Um disaster mine number 34354. Three, Wait, was that it? Three, four, three, five, four, idiot. All right, whatever. There it is. Um, Michael, if you're interested, add me there. I will uh, keep the stream up. And if anyone else wants to, happy to play the um, happy to play the viewer games. Really, really enjoy the variety that comes from playing you guys. Um, not going to lie at all. Oh yeah. Um, so I will uh, I will drag my feet on this one. Give me a sec. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Um, as a matter of fact, um, let me just go into a game right now. Just to a... Uh, because I don't know how long it's going to take. And take your time. It's all good. I'm not hurrying you. I'm just going to go into a game now. And to be honest, once I see you in chat here, I'm going to uh, get out of this game. Unranked format, right? It's all good. And speaking of chat, it looks like the sponsor of tonight's stream is here. We got... Who is it today? 69XXX Fun. Ooh, sounds like fun. Boys and girls, don't ever forget code BIGFATMTG at checkout for 15% more girls. Also, make sure you subscribe to my OnlyFans. If you aren't already, spicy content going up all the time there. Happy to have you. Oh, wait, I clicked I clicked on fucking go away. Jesus Christ. All right, fine. I'll put, put user in timeout again. Okay, type your name again on chat, please. Okay, yep. Um I got you. Um what one moment, please. Um Sorry, my text box is in the way. Who who did I just accept? Maybe it was someone else. I, I didn't even see the name. My uh my on screen text box is roughly where it is for you guys, except I can't see through mine. There you go, boss man. Disaster mind. Number three, four, three, five, four. I think, right? Three, four, three, five, four. I got it right this time. Let's go. That was me. Slice dice. Okay, yeah, I didn't even see the name. Okay, good shit, man. Good shit. 
Happy to have you guys. Yep. When whenever you'd like, I will uh I will play you guys in a uh, in a viewer game. Definitely. Um let me see. I got a uh up oh, user pending. Okay, sorry about that. Um okay, I thought I accepted that before. Okay. Um oh, you czar. Okay, is that you, Michael? Um or was that the Jeez, I don't know. That was Z-Man who I played before. All right. Well, in that case, I will send this person right here a, um, well, actually, I don't know, Michael, because you've been talking about your Explorer deck. I, I, I'll i just wait for the, um, for the request from you, because if you wanted to explore, we'll do that. Mine is Usar sent. Okay. Yep. Definitely. And send me a, um, send me a, um. Well, what do you call it? A, a challenge here for, because I'm not sure which format you want. Otherwise, I would have sent you for Historic Brawl. Oh, man. Not going to lie. I'm still happy about that game that we faced against that guy with all those green creatures. And I'm going to further not lie. I think he could have just swung wide a couple of times and won. Like, just through a, like... I, may, I don't know if War of Attrition is, like, the right word. But, like, just by swinging wide and losing a couple of things each time, you know. Um, okay, we're up in a 60 cards. Best of one. I know exactly what I'm going to play. You want to go Vivian on the hunt? I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to see his uh, Selesnia artifacts with uh, powered by Vivian on the hunt. I'm going to take this in a slightly different direction. I'm going to play this one. We haven't seen this one. Uh, I played this once since I like played it a bunch when I started my channel. And I played it like once since then. So uh, let's go, baby. Um, hmm. I think I will take this. Yeah. Yeah. You got me twice with Lair of the Hydra. I kept forget. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, it happens. It actually, that happens to me all the time with Hall of Storm Giants. I always forget that people have Hall of Storm Giants, and then I swing in, and my thing just gets freaking crushed under the wave of that thing. I am not going to watch, but I will be listening. Yeah, let's go, bud. Let's go. Yep. Very good. But do you play Magic IRL? Oh, yeah. I definitely have a uh, Magic card. I mean, I have some old-ass Magic cards. Like, I was playing from the year roughly 2000, 2001, where things like um, Exodus, Onslaught, Invasion, Tempest, T or Torment, sorry, were um, in standard. Um, and then I took a break at around, like, 2012 until, like, probably 2020 or some shit. You know, I think I actually will keep that. And I, I kind of could use the lands here. It, pretty nice to see this guy here. Michael has a patchwork automaton. I see your patchwork automaton. And I raise you. Patchwork automaton and one damage. Let's go. I am winning. What are you going to do? Michiko's, okay, Michiko's Reign of Truth is a pretty good thing to do. Okay, yeah, he definitely gets that swing for three if he wants. And he does. Yeah, no blocks. You got it. Okay. Um, is that this, or is that this? There's, there's, a, there's a good reason for both. Um, there's even a good reason for this. Um, I kind of like this. Uh, next turn, I can do Reckoner and tap it because I can't play this and tap it this turn, right? So, yeah, this. And um, as for the decks I play, I actually own, like, the more recent cards. I, I have, like, an Ilharg, like, red-green, and I, I also have dinosaurs with the same red-green, mostly so that, you know, I paid for the freaking Stomping Grounds and root and the Rootbound Crags, you know? I'm gonna fucking get more use out of them than one deck, damn it, because I have, like, four of them each, and these, these little shit, these little cards are freaking expensive, you know? <laughs> um, yeah. Um, so that is uh, this. And shout out to my playlist. I have those playlists too. Actually, when I was playing in War of the Spark Standard, I was using Ilharg, and I had a great time with it too. Um, we're going to do Reality Chip. Reality Chip has a pretty nice block for his patchwork automatons right now. Poor guy. Mm, we'll see if he gets more lands, but he's a. Oh, wait. Did he miss one? I, I went first, so never mind. I don't, I, maybe he didn't miss one. 
Iron Apprentice, all right. Yep, that's a good start to powering up his artifacts. Okay, he's got a 3-3 three, three and a 2-2. Two, two. And he's got a 4-4 four, four and a 3-3, three, three, so he can only attack with the 4-4, four, four, I think. Oh, wow, he leaves open for defense. Okay, probably a good idea, to be perfectly honest. Um, we have Mech Titan on the top. Interesting. Do I go grab that right now with Reality Chip? No, I don't think I can do that. I think it's a little too much. I think we can do this. Um, I'm actually not going to do this right now. I am going to wait because I, this is instant. So um, do I attack? You know what? Yeah, I'm going to attack. I'm going to force him to make some fucking blocks that he doesn't want to just with that one. Um, and with this Silver Raven? Yes, with the Silver Raven. Yep, we're doing it. Yep, we've got a pause here. Okay, he blocks with those. Now, those, when they die, they're going to move their counters onto other things, so that's pretty good. Oh, shit. Wait, I thought they all died. Oh, okay, yeah, they all died. I was like, what the fuck just happened? Okay. So, yep, that's good. That's definitely good. He now owns the biggest thing on the field, um, which is good. Um, pass turn. I mean, we could still take it, so I, 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 I'm I, good with that. Um, he's got three cards in hand, three mana, so hopefully his stuff doesn't get too big here. And that that's the, okay, good. If he's going to play one artifact, that's still good. His stuff still gets big, but yeah. Um, at least that's not crazy. Well, let's see what he does for combat here. He can crew this, but it's not hasted. Summoning sick right now, so we're fine there. Um... Let's see, because he does have 10 life, so he does have to be careful with what he attacks with. Oh, shit. So it's, that's only when it attacks. So we, I mean, he doesn't really need the 4-4 right now. Um, so it's okay, because the 6-6 six, six is his main weapon at the moment. Yeah, oops, it, yeah, it, it happens. It's all good. Um, okay, and now we will, uh, we will do this. My turn. Okay, so we have five mana, which isn't the most... Um, okay, but we could do this. Reconfigure. We're going to reconfigure it onto uh, probably this. So now we can do stuff off of the top of our library, um, which we can't really um, profit off of that, but I can drop this. How are that guy up? Um, I think we're going to pass the turn here, holding open the capacity to uh, crew Reckon or Bankbuster and get some block on something. I don't even mind taking a lot of damage, to be perfectly honest, because um, <laughs> let's put up, up a Mech Titan core. I can actually activate that. Although, to be honest, I haven't played this deck in a while. Does it cost five to activate that or seven? I actually forgot. I got to bring it down here. Um, it costs five. Oh, yes, I have that. Oh, that's, oh, yes. Five and four other artifact creatures and or vehicles. Um, so I'm going to take all that damage. I don't, I don't give a shit. I'm taking it. Not a shit in the world, boys and girls. We, we've got Mech Titan. Yep. Instant take. I'll gain, I'll gain 10 next turn. No problem. Oh, wait, crew? No, fucking Jesus. I meant this. Sorry, I, I clicked the wrong one. For some reason, I'm just always used to clicking the one on the right. Um, one, two. Yeah, Jesus Christ. What the hell was about to happen there? Oh, we got the Mech Titan. Yes. Poor guy. Now, if he kills it for, like, one mana... Alright, he didn't kill it for the one mana. Oh, good game. Wow, we we raced against the clock, but we got it. Oh, good game. Oh. 
Not gonna lie, I, I think that Mech Titan deck is really cute. I like it. it. It gets fucking, like, spanked around in Explorer all day. And that was before Liliana became, like, the thing in uh, Explorer. And I mean, forget Blue Spirits or whatever. But yeah, like, I, I really like that deck a lot. About a year ago, it was kind of decent. GG, Big Fat MTG, Good Game Michael. Yes, absolutely. Thank Good Game Michael. And of course, Good Game to me. Yes, I... We both deserve it. Absolutely one more. Hell yeah, let's go. I will, uh, since we're on a delay here, I will send you a challenge for the uh, same thing. Yep. I know it's going to take a little while for that to get to you. So, uh, yes, sir. I'll actually write in chat. Up, oh, I did write in chat, but my freaking goddamn thing wasn't even uh, typing. Challenge sent, and I spelled everything correctly so I don't look like a, the big fat idiot that I am. Cool. Um... What? Wait, what? What? Oh, okay. Um, yes. Mech Titan. Yeah, let's go. Artifacts versus artifacts. I know this isn't your regularly scheduled programming, but shout out to my playlist. This is a, this is a teaser of other goodies on the big fat MTG network of fucking greatness here. Um, now let's see. Moon Snare Prototype. What do I do here? Do I go greedy and wait to cast Patchwork Automaton first? I wonder if that's too... The thing is, he actually dropped a tapped land, so I'm, I'm actually going to go greedy here. By the way, sleeves. You like those with the back tie? Isn't that cool? That's cool, right? These were uh, on sale for uh, Thanksgiving. Um, I was super happy to pick that up. I was like, oh yeah, Mech Titan. Like, yep. I don't know, I still like this deck. I barely play it on stream. I, I just fucking like it. I like the reality chip. I think that thing is so great. It was a little overhyped. It, it, did it even see any competitive play? But, like, I, I think it's freaking great. I think it's a lot of fun for casual. Okay, gathering throng. So he gets to bring, like, th up to three of them into his hand. So, um, he'll definitely have stuff to do for the next few turns thing is um i mean i i would assume he attacks with gala greeters figuring okay he doesn't I, i'll take the uh, i'll take the extra life here we go patrick automaton into moon snare oh what um okay And definitely no attacks, because I am not losing my Patchwork Automaton to this. He would love to block with that, because I know he has one, two, three, four, five. He got three more in his hand. Oh, boy. Let's check out the sleeves here. Oh, shit. Nice, man. Silver? Shit. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, that's bad. That's really bad. That's really bad. That's super duper bad. Um, that's extremely bad. Moon Snare prototype off the top. I could use that next turn to send his thing back to his hand. This really sucks, to be perfectly honest. This sucks. I think I want to scry that away. See what we get. Um, Um, damn it. Ugh, this sucks. Okay. I think he probably has me, because Silverback Elder, whenever he does that, now he can destroy target artifact or enchant me. He, only, he almost guaranteed does that. Um... Let's see what he gets. I either the reality chip or a patchwork automaton, because he does have the uh 
the treasure token to uh, kill one of the Patrick Automatons. And Okay, and then if he wants to do that one, now he can actually cast another creature and then kill a Silver Raven, which is great for him because, like, basically it's a race against time with this deck for me to get the Mech Titan core out. So, yeah, he's kicking my ass all over the place here. So the only saving grace here is that I can at least get double Mech Titan core onto the field and uh, smash away with um, with the Patchwork Automatons, because we'll have a 7-7. Seven, seven, or actually an 8-8 eight, eight and a 7-7. Seven, seven. But yeah, they probably just get chumped, I would imagine. But nevertheless, I mean, at least he can't just block them with Silverback Elder, you know. We'll weaken the position on the field a little bit. But it doesn't really matter because ultimately he has Silverback Elder with a whole lot of uh, stuff in his hand. Uh, yeah, we'll attack with everything. I mean, he can even take it if he freaking wants to, but I would assume that the Gathering Throngs are a pretty good blocker because they don't actually do anything once they're on the field. They're just vanillas. Still, great blocker. I don't have a Trample, so... Very good, very good, yep. <laughs> he just takes it! Nice! Yeah, I like it! I like it. If he wants to just fucking take it, good shit. Oh, he actually wants to kill one. Oh, he's gonna actually destroy everything I love. Um, and good on him, yep. Well, I, I, that's only three damage I need to kill them all. But yeah, he's got two more where that came from, which means uh, two more casts of Silverback Elder. Damn, that is it. I would say hit the patchwork automaton while you have the yeah while you have the two to pay for the ward cost. Yep, that is damn. Oof, oof, boys and girls. Michael's living the dream right now. Let's bring this up. Whenever you cast a creature spell, cast he doesn't even have to resolve it. So even if I like sideboard in creature counters or something, it doesn't matter. Jesus, good game. Oh God. Oh. Wow. Uh, oh, we're, we're going to play it. What the hell? Right. We will attack. I'm winning. <laughs> I'm going to bring up my sleeves. Not going to lie. It, it makes me feel better than looking at the field right now. Because I know what's happening on the field. I don't want to talk about it. I've talked about it enough. I know what's happening. I'll forget that I said that in a moment because Goldfish Memory. I'll just talk about it some more. But in the meantime, isn't that nice? Gosh, I, I love this. Uh, it's so colorful. I love that shit, man. I put like uh, all the colors in my thumbnails, of course. And I just like looking at that stuff, you know. Oh, yep. Oh, shit. I pressed spacebar. Instead of clicking that, it took this down. He's destroying everything I love. Um, let me just drop that. Now I keep it un un untapped. I got this. He's got 10, 15, now 20 damage on the field. Now that one doesn't have haste. I wonder if he just wants to swing all in at once for all 20. But he's got three threes plus one. That's 10, 15, 20. Oh, don't give it a plus one, plus one counter. Oh, yes. Yes, now you have such an even number. Oh, God, it's so beautiful. Well, not an even number, but it's... Oh, it's a beautiful multiple of five. Now it's 20. That's so beautiful. He won. We're going to give him the good game. There you go. You know what? I'll even give I'll even give him the mic drop, because he, he deserves it. He ruined, he ruined my life. Well, negative 15. Oh, I love that it's a multiple of five. That's so nice. Good game, sir. Bravo. Bravo, man. You deserve it. Very nice. Oh, God. Silverback Elder against the deck full of artifacts. I don't want to talk about it. I did talk about it, but it hurts. It hurts my soul to talk about it, but I do it for you. The big fat bastards, the big fat bastardettes, kings and queens. I'm going to I'm going to talk again just in case if anybody wants to um, challenge me. Um, 
But thank that was awesome smiley face. This is a real magic experience. Fuck yeah. Thank you, Michael. I'm I'm glad I'm glad to do it. I had a great time against you. Your gathering throng kicked the shit out of me because you had so much ammunition for your uh what's it called? Silverback Elder. And thank you, Andrew. GG, yeah. Yeah, good game to Michael. Kick the living crap out of me there. Oh my god. I mean that wasn't really kicking the crap out of me, was it? That was more like just ruining my life and systematically picking me apart. Damn, good stuff. Well, with that said, I, I dragged my feet in the outro there, so thank you all so much for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget, if you're if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. What the, what the heck are you doing? You're not subscribed to Big Fat MTG, you dumb goofed. I'm just kidding. You don't have to if you want to, but if you want to, it, it might be the best choice you ever make in your fucking life. So have a good night, boys and girls, kings and queens, big fat bastards, big fat bastardettes. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Um, and we will see you the next time on uh, the stream. I, I don't know what the hell I'm going to be playing tomorrow. Or maybe I'll release a, a video with like Joda or something. But whatever. Yeah. Have a good night, guys. And stream.